Alright, how's it going? Welcome back to more Tears of the Kingdom. And we're here after our very first dungeon. Um, one second, I got a green screen to fix, like I always do, because it always gets bumped. There we go, that's better. Uh, but yeah, first dungeon is now done. It's the one in the Rito area, and it was, well, a lot of fun. Uh, this whole area, and now I just really want to explore some archipelagos. There's, like, the one over here, there's some down here. We barely did much in the sky beyond, you know, the starting area and this first dungeon, which I think first dungeon is a fitting name because it's our first and it seems like the game's first too because this game is a bit more of a clear order. Let us launch to the sky. <laughs> we were over there. Let's check out these archipelagos. Maybe we'll get more materials to build with. <laughs> Wingsuit active. Ooh, wow. This will be a way to start. <laughs> Wait, welcome everyone. Hopefully you're having a good, uh, Thursday. This is day seven of tears being out. Oh, aha! The new ability we got. Tulin's vow has granted you the power of summon his avatar. So it's literally like a companion thing we now have. So that's like the main dungeon ability you get. <laughs> I love that. It's like a companion, and he's got the great eagle bow now. So probably more uh, powerful in that way. Um, first, let's get off these sandals. This works. Level 2 cold is no sweat at all. Eat the apple. Yeah. But today's day 7, uh, and that means I've been playing Tears of the Kingdom every day of the week. So, this came out on Friday, played it Saturday, Sunday, all the way to Thursday. Also, <laughs> flux constructs are fun. Ooh, there's a win. Yeah! You can summon that anywhere. What are you? He's calling his friends. Everything's a weakling after the dungeon, though. You have such good loot. It's not like the boss is very hard, so we still gotta keep all the loot. We don't have to spend it, really. Which I was very surprised about. More of a ranged battle. I'm coming for ya. <laughs> Look, he just trots around. I wonder what they're thinking about. Oh, so yeah, this sort of platform. So you can move this one freely. And then just sort of stays. And they're all over the place. I wonder if you need a balloon for that of sorts. Need is a strong word. You can do anything, though. Butterfly. Too high. <laughs> I think Tulin's just gonna always follow. I, I saw ya. <laughs> No, I'm taking on that construct right away. And there's a shrine up there. Cool darners. We'll just open. It's chilly, but... Wait a second. We'll move the thing with it? It will. Okay. And it'll lock in place then. So we can just unactivate it. That's really powerful. Okay. Let's go fight Mr. Fluxman. Wind. <laughs> I wonder what tier you are. We fought a one, we fought a three, but not a two yet. <laughs> what if I land on him? He's got like something on his... Is that a chest? Aha! Oh. <laughs> ah! Not right away. Here. Take off the core. Oh, thank you. Power the Great Eagle, though. I feel that power. <laughs> this is the only something we got nearby. Get him with the bow. Here. Tulin, you got this. Ah. <laughs> I was going to see if I could parry it. 
But I see where the chest landed. Here, I'll let Tulin finish this one off. Assuming you can. Old maps. So that's what these are for. Yeah, we found a... Okay, so it points out stuff in the depths of where ancient stuff was. So I guess every construct has one. Or at least most of them. Ah. <laughs> Don't want to break the shield trying, though. Let's do it once more. It doesn't seem like a parable attack, but... Only one way to find out. Here. <laughs> you got this. <laughs> He's just going after Tulin. Hmm. I'm making it easy. I just... <laughs> this is Guardian of West Hebrew Sky. Clearly not a very strong guardian for this region. Yep, there's no way I'm going to find this out. Here. Here. Let's let Tulin do something. I think if I shoot it first, then Tulin goes for it. But you have to put in some sort of effort. Damn, you, you... I feel like I'm just not getting it. I just want to see what happens if you parry it. Tulin. Here. Gradual damage. Speed up this fight. I just have to know. For my own parrying sense. That was so... <laughs> disappointing. Wait, welcome everyone. Sorry. Just as I'm warming up here. Trying to do one cool little parry. Okay. Tulin, you got this. I don't know why Tulin is not attacking now. I, I can't do it. <laughs> I don't know. I know I can. It's just... Why is this tripping me up? Okay. We know how to parry. Please, Construct. Sometimes the first one you do pops out late. Okay. I, I'm not going to be able to get that. I, I don't think it's parryable. As sad as that is. Okay. <sighs> A little... Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. But no, I try to get it perfectly and does not seem like that's parryable in any way. Just the thing you dodge. And these things are pretty useless. But I guess I don't need the wind one, so if we take off the leaf, make a weak little sword. Yay. Long throw. A little pulverizer club. That's pretty easy. Anything special about these islands? Beyond just being very cool. The queue was the labyrinth, wasn't it? Yep. And we did that. That was super cool. One of the first major things we did in the snow. It's literally a whole, like, three-tier labyrinth. So, got, like, the starting layer, then the above, then the chasm below. But this is nice. Rocket ship to go to the rest. You gotta really build around to do this stuff. Which is why I like it. How much can we rocket the rocket ship? <laughs> we can a lot of rocket it. I don't know if four will do too much that this two can. Zonite shield with a... Let's see. Lowers energy consumption. The flamethrower stuff isn't too good, but... You never know when you need it. Okay, these are all almost on the same level. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We just go for it and hope for the best. Woohoo! That's awesome. <laughs> oh, there's a gumball machine! And the shrine! I was hoping for that. The two in. <laughs> Do your thing. I love how all these mechanisms work in tandem. And now, these are still one of the first dispensers. 98 of these charges. There were a lot of constructs in the dungeon we fought. This giant air thing. Really cool. We're gonna skip the gumball. 
I see some familiar stuff, but... Yep. So what does this one have? Uh... Oh, okay, first rocket dispenser. <laughs> I was looking for a rocket dispenser so we can finally get more. Um, maybe a rarer drop, but... We'll just do another little party. These are pretty expendable. Yay! I see two... Ooh, four rockets? Okay! Before, rockets were a pretty rare thing. But now I know where to get them. Also, let's try putting in something else, because maybe... It's better? It'd just be always good as when I charge, but for these, I only have so many, so... I'm still gonna do that. Would it be better or worse, or...? Oh, it's worse. Wait, so those are one apiece. It may change the rarity, I'm not sure yet. But if I put in this, just by itself, would it also just be one, or...? Okay, so I think specifically it is five Zonite charges get you 12 things. The parts by itself, it's usually a one-to-one. -one. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's always 12. Okay. There's probably a better combo. I'll just talk to more people. Maybe uh, the steward construct knows best about that. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Rockets for days. I just want rockets. Just one more batch. Wait. <laughs> Let's look how many we have. Just takes five kills. Or not even. Some of the constructs drop like two per kill. Stuff's basically free. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh. <laughs> the Tulum wants to go in too. I'm not sure how many rockets you would turn into. Maybe more than what we're making. <laughs> Uh, let's see, that... 21 rockets. We had like four or something before this. Oh. <laughs> I assume the shrine will teach us about how to properly launch. EGOO shrine. Okay. <laughs> now we can make as many rocket ships as we need. Now I know they last for a very short time. I'm still trying to figure out a way to milk that out maybe. Because they don't work off batteries, it's just their own, you know, quick thing. So attaching a battery didn't help. Maybe they're just big rockets? More than defense. <laughs> Maybe we'll need an offense. Oh wait. You have to teach us about the shields. Here, you burn the fire. Yep, like that. I'm just gonna let you do it, because you have infinite durability. I don't. Use your flame shield. Ow. <laughs> use it. You never know he's gonna use it, he just always has it out. Use it now. Fine. <laughs> I was trying to go gentle. But that was harsh. Okay, flame meter shield. Uh, I guess we'll use up the one we have right now. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Oh, we need that to go. Hmm. Okay, now there's a wall. Wait, can we block things off with the wall? Is that what it's telling us? First, let's eat a uh, silly shroom. Right back at ya. Nobody can shoot at me. You're just you're just stuck up there, right now. Oh, yep, that shield's extra big. Uh, Okay, really quickly, I'm going to drop this current one just for a little bit. Just so we can take his. I just took one. I'm ready more parts. So I guess swap what type of thing we have. I guess that, yeah, full body shield would prevent you from stuff like that, wouldn't it? It's cool to see that for sure. 
Okay, this will break sooner. Chest probably, yes. Is that the only chest in here? It is. I don't know why just five arrows. They're just, they're just too common in this game. I think the limits are going to go past uh, a thousand though. Because it used to be 999 was max in Breath of the Wild. I think that's going to be changed. Okay, can we actually... That is so... Oh my god, it's like having like the mirror shields from past games. I love that. Full body shields. The shrines teach us a lot. So I like doing them. Good lessons in game physics. Rocket bow. Yeah. No. <laughs> um. I. Wait, how can I f fuse that to my thing? Oh, I think I have to have a capsule of it. Which I can't use my capsules in here. He just has the nice privilege that I don't. <laughs> but you get a flower. In your honor. Wait, can I parry the rocket shield? I want to parry the rocket. I want to parry this rocket. Please let me do this. Okay. <laughs> the timing is going to be so tight though. Okay. Let me get a melee hit on me. Don't want to flurry. Okay. If we're far enough, I think we can. Ah. Yeah, literally, if he's on the opposite side, I think we can do it. He's going to start with an attack and then this. No, please. I need more reaction time. You do that. And then sprint, go. Ow. I just want to see if I can. Please, like a... Attack me melee. Okay. I need way more reaction time. You missed! You weren't supposed to do that. You literally have a rocket thing. Don't you dare miss next time. Need more distance. Come on, just don't miss. We had it perfect. Do you see the problem you're causing me? <laughs> There's gotta be a reason for all these. Because if I do a rocket shield, I just fly up. Okay. <laughs> One more, please. He missed again. I was early, but still he missed. Let's see. Let's count how many seconds before he shoots. It. Two, one. Okay. I'm just gonna learn how to parry it directly. Close. Because he always does the same fixed timing after things. And yes, this is the highest priority right now. Too early. close. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Get a hidden. Oh, one of those, sure, that's fine. <laughs> you have to, we have to make this work. We've been trying too hard. Yes! It does not do anything, though. Damn it. <laughs> Why do they have to be that way? <laughs> okay, we did it. <laughs> Just to show it doesn't do anything. Because, like, our options are so limited otherwise. That's the sad part, because... If I have this rusty broadsword... I'll fuse that to a rocket. It does create a cool rocket weapon, but... Obviously, not much we can do when we didn't have weapons to spare. Uh, but for shield stuff, 
Oh yeah, I can use some more rocket shield if I want. Look at this. Whee! That's how we're supposed to get out. <laughs> that was really it. Yeah. Now I thought it wanted us to do something with that. But yeah, the point was to get out of the shrine. That's fine if we're down a shield. Because we have plenty of rockets. So. Let us get out of here. <laughs> we now know the answers. So we can't parry the co the big uh, Roblox looking dude. But we can parry the rockets. It just doesn't send back. Okay, well, we know now. We know no more about rockets. Fusing the arrow just makes a super arrow kind of thing like that. But you can't fuse it to your arrow unless it's in your inventory. West Heber Sky Archipelago. Oh, you can launch wherever you want. But that's cool. You can go on there. That's actually really awesome. It's right by a shrine, so it's a good warp to do so. That is the dungeon. We did that. Such a cool airship. Very atmospheric. Beautiful. And I see a uh, rune guy. <laughs> For another part or two. These are usually one time loots, just like the decayed guardians. Sorry, my instinct with this game is to test out every interaction if I think of it. So I'm sure even if we try that, we won't even find half the things. I love these fairy areas. We do have stealth stuff now. That will take away my coal resistance, so... Evil spirit grieves. I wonder if that's enough. I don't think so, but we made it, at least. <gasps> Hardy Bass. Yay, we found Hardy Bass finally. Our first really good Hardy food. <laughs> His face, all distorted in the water. <laughs> Limited arrows. Yep, restore all your hearts, increase max hearts. That's very good. I think it's a plus three temporary heart per fish. Also, there's a slab. It's like a door. Oh, it's a wooden chest variation of the Zonai chest. It's buoyant. Yay. A more. Gotcha. I see a fairy right there. Direct oh, don't! Don't activate. I was trying to get the fairy. Tulin's ghost is a mind of its own. Wait. You can drain the water? And re- Oh. Wait, well, I wonder what's in there. Drain it. to the fullest extent. That's an easier way to fish, isn't it? Okay, let the water take us up. Or <laughs> climb first. The water is lava. <gasps> oh wait, you can get that water to go in here. Oh. I wonder what that's used for. Just to be cool? It's interesting, though. Ah. Hmm. Very interesting. I feel like there may be a puzzle revolved around it. Unless it's just for easier access to the fish. Couldn't tell ya. 
But I'm digging the fairies. Four fairies? Yeah. Wait, I wonder what a fairy arrow does. Can I use a fairy arrow? Uh, by type, okay. May require a bit of scrolling. I think you can do almost everything. No fairies yet. Uh, be in monster parts probably. I have a feeling maybe not, cause like, no, fairy arrows are not a thing. <laughs> we can't be that cruel to wildlife. Similar to how you can't make like frog arrows or something. Use most, but not all. Neat. This has got to be a puzzle. Though. Flame emitter. Give me a balloon and a flame emitter. Why those specifically? Is that important in a little side objective here? It's like things are sometimes given for a reason, but sometimes not. Guess you can always keep a gate open. Oh yeah, the water's unflooded here. You, you attach a balloon to flame emitter, it'll stay. Yeah, wait a second. Yeah. Always gotta pay attention to what it gives you. So, if you get a balloon thing. Like that. And then attach a flame emitter to it. I can do them all at once next time. Yep, it pulls that up. It was on to something. Still not enough force, huh? Oh, it's getting stuck, I see. That's not good. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Okay. So you do that. Unless that latches for something. Oh, you can latch it. Huh. So maybe not using the balloon conventionally, but... Let's do something like that. Oops, no, no attack, please. We alternate it up for a couple seconds. And then down, but we recall it really quick. Not enough time here. We gotta get it stuck in our favor. So like that. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Actually, a few more seconds because I have a better plan. And let it play out like that. Also like that, right? We're figuring it out. <laughs> A couple more seconds, let it drain. This time, nothing fancy. We just need all the water to be let up. And we put that into place. We can let the recall just work whenever it needs to. We don't need to rush into it. So now that that's ready, we now recall that. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this. No. There we go. Yes! Gotcha. 
It's odd. I don't think we need the flame emitter. Might have just been giving it to us. <laughs> we can really launch that thing. Now the puzzle should be solved. We need to drain all the water from this one. Because now it has somewhere to go there. Or rather, nowhere to go. Huh. Why is it not filling up the other one? Huh? It's in here. Tell me that this puzzle wasn't for anything? Why, do, why does it... No, we have to go in somewhere. Well, what's the point of this, son? Yeah, why isn't the water going down here all of a sudden? There's always a, a thing about these puzzles. Yeah, it gives us wraps. And this is being more so like, hey, now that you made it to the end, you build a little raft out of these things. Maybe that's it. Uh, I th it made so much sense with the drain, you know? It's like, oh, drain one, you can fill it up all the way because now it's fully drained. But then the water just did not fill. For no, I, I don't know why. It's because this one has nothing. Yeah. So that's it filled. But now when we open this one, yeah, that fills. Huh. I wonder why it just didn't even fill before, you know? Let's do that and then recall. I, I don't think there's anything to do this, but. Okay. So it really was for nothing, sadly. That's kind of upsetting. Maybe it's teaching us just for our future puzzle, you know? But still, I'm going to pin this place just in case I am not figuring something out that it should be. So, I think that's a mystery. Um, that's good, like, building stuff. Maybe a chest has in like it's locked. Like what is this, you know? I didn't use that one yet for anything. Well, that I have currently. Maybe platform. I love traveling between these. Kind of leads to this. Old map, okay. These are all... Something right there we missed? Maybe it's like a dig site that we wouldn't have been able to find regardless. Because sometimes they're just like statues and it's so big down there it's easy to miss stuff. Because it's just so dark and sprawling. That's sort of the point. Same reason why they don't have Korok seeds down there. Because like, it would just be too much, you know? There's so much elevation. It's like, it's meant to be an area for like, broad search. And you miss stuff, so that's why there's maps. Okay, still neat. It led to something good, at least. And of course, there's a Korok. <gasps> that's an easy to miss one. Search so hard. It's probably stuff like that that we're missing. Okay, um, what was that other island? I saw it on my map. It was like star-shaped. 
There it is. Could that be? I love all these islands. We we haven't really traveled mass islands like this, excluding uh, the big cluster right there for the dungeon. But I love using this guy. It's the perfect ability for this. So I'm glad we did it first. Hmm. Okay. Uh, some sort of sh special shrine. Aha. Ancient Hyrulean text. We can't read it. It's like a few spots like that. Got to learn the language first. Um, what would be our language stamps? So, I don't know. Puzzling spots that I'll think back to with the chest. Uh, hearts are just beehives. This one I can get rid of. I forgot to. Um, I was kind of working fairy fountains with that. Um, these are caves. That's an interesting person. Has something to do with uh, traveling musicians. These are... Those are special bases down below. And these things are stashes where you can build things. Again, it's... I wish there was a question mark symbol. Just a very general one. But like, I can't read this text. Okay. Um, let's go back to this. So we, we explored this little chunk. Now if we use your cannon to go... Even somewhere in the south skies. We also didn't explore these ones yet, so... Good thing for fast travel. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm, I was really just hoping to find more dispensers, some cool shrines. Uh, maybe ways to get more of those cores for the energy cells. Because for a third of a battery, we need like a hundred. I need to find the terminology. Uh, Ijo O Shrine. Yep, the, the crystallized charge. You need a hundred for a third of a battery. We only did our first upgrade. It seems like we can have up to eight. So you need like 2,100 of these in total to max it out. That's where we came from. Yep. That's how you initially get up here. So we did that stuff. Now oh, there's a launching platform. That's if you want to go to the sky stuff, but we did that. What if I want to go, let's say, over here? There's like a zip line. It's that, isn't it? <laughs> but also, what's that platform? Mm. It's behind the shrine. This is peaceful so far. I, I really dig this. Oh, that's high up. Yeah, <laughs> you see the elevation by the darkness or lightness. So that stuff's insanely high. That cluster's lower. That's where we've been, I believe. I don't think even this will help us, would it? Let's see. It might be a good launching mechanism. I should see how close it gets us. Let's go. It's decent, but that is insanely high. More of a kickstart than anything. Maybe if I'm trying to launch another mechanism. But yeah, I'm going to assume that for now... That's just what we got to work with. Now there's tons of other warps though. Because I probably will need to build something. And that's a mechanism to make it go flying. And with our battery, it's not going to go good. We need to find more areas where we can get the crystallized charges. So other archipelagos could be nice. Um, we have that chain over there. And according to my map, it is... Okay, let's turn left a bit. Yep, I see it. 
There we go. Hmm. I just want to see how close we can get. <laughs> Not like that. Run to the base. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Running start. It's possible. If I'm insane, it's possible. Where's the closer war point? Um, again, with the bird, I feel like we can make it to that lower island. Because this is a pretty good ability. It's got to keep mashing A and doing it. And the stamina is nice to have two wheels. <laughs> have we been pushing the limits of our physical prowess and stamina? <laughs> I think we can't make this, actually. There is a shrine down below if we fail anyway, so... Something to do, at least. Now I'm really aiming for that bottom island. It's the only way. Okay, mashing it. This was probably the best choice. We'll need a stamina potion for sure. But I think we can get this. Yes, just barely. Oh, that's so awesome. Okay, let's go. Mm. 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 Food? Food? Stamina food. Should be at the top. We can get a lot with that. Yep, a little elixir. Yay. <laughs> South Hebra Sky Archipelago. Yep. Okay. There is a shrine down there. Um, but this is why we have balloons. It's the main reason why. And gliders. Perfect. I need that, though. We could BS it and try to ascend. I'm going to try some crafty work right here. Okay, we can perfect the self-launch now. Which is required for this. Just like that. And recall the ship there. Nope. Ah. Okay. We just need to glide so we can get to that flat part. There. A little bit like that. Perfect. Yep. And then go like that, switch to our ascend. Please, 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 please. No! Damn it. Not like I have a balloon tied to this thing. Oh, thank you. You know what? You're very kind for that. <laughs> Give me a second chance. Oh, dive, please. I, I, I shouldn't do that there. <laughs> I shouldn't do that there. Okay. Thank you for this amazing opportunity. I'd like to thank the wing gods for this recall. Oh, hi, monsters. Chowing. <laughs> those cubes. I don't think I won in that one. There's. You're supposed to send into it. <sighs> Sometimes it's that simple. <laughs> Blood Moon, I know. See, there's a fan, some boards. Oh, some of these rails. Great Sky Island moment. Okay. 
Okay. Let that play out because I don't know where it is. Hi, Blood Moon. <laughs> Fight in the when force. The glow of the blood-stained moon shines upon the land. So cool. I just love that shot of Zelda looking at the moon. Can't skip it until we see that, at least. It's always the Blood Moon, Ganon's re main revival tactic. I like how there's many constants between this and Breath of the Wild. And yeah, establishing a new formula, obviously. Like, uh, you know, with past Zelda games, very dungeon heavy. So like, you would do, uh, well, like one area, a dungeon, next area, a dungeon, next dungeon. And then there'll be like a midway section and then another like three dungeon thing and then a finale section. But with this, it's like more of like a four dungeon thing. Shrines are for increasing, you know, your health. Korok seeds for inventory, so they're definitely building a new Zelda formula. Which I know how it's gonna go, because obviously it was new for Breath of the Wild, so like, what was all gonna stay for this game? Apparently a lot. <laughs> Which is interesting. I'm gonna use that though. Because it is very similar in that regard, but I mean, don't fix what isn't broke, I guess. I want two fans. Not like we're low on fans. Well, I guess one thing about this game though, it's like, or not just this game, but Breath of the Wild, it's like, what game am I describing? You start the game on a very lonely starter area. You do shrines to power up your character. You collect seeds to upgrade your inventory. There's four main races that you help and each of them involve a dungeon at the end that get you some sort of ability. I am describing Breath of the Wild and Tears. But I guess the same rules can also be applied to all the other 3D Zelda games with each other. That's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just like, okay. It was very new, but this offers so many new ideas, which is why I like that. Like this, fully uphill, just with the wind. I'm glad we had two. Hell, three could have even been better, but one may not have been enough. to this. I like those. Sage's will? Huh? The remnants of a former sage's resolve. If you gather four of them and offer them to a goddess statue, you can deepen your connection with the sages. That's not what I expected. Does it power up, uh, like Tulin? Like our companion? That's cool. So it's like, that kind of reminds me of like heart pieces. You know how it's like, where things scattered around the map, but it's like four to get one. But instead of spirit orbs, or the light orbs, it's that. I like having like rare collectibles like that, where it's like a piece of something and some big upgrade. Okay. Piece of the sage's resolve. So yeah, it probably has to deal with that because that's like the new sage and well, there's the avatar of that sage. So it's cool. Not what I expected, though. That's what makes me more hyped. <laughs> and worth it. It's like I didn't just come here for a rupee. Good reward. Okay, so that is done. Um, that's just too high up. There's that stuff. I could do the archipelago here, though. How close to a tower is that? Not very. Yeah, not very at all. We would have to build a flying machine to get to that. Is that our goal today? <laughs> I would love to work towards that. Maybe let's try this archipelago. I saw like one quick island and that's it. But I feel like there's something good here. And I know it's just right outside the Coliseum. Okay. Well, first let's get a shrine that's down here and then we can do that. We might as well get these warp points. So here's one there. Uh, I see two different ones. Let's start with this. Yes. Yes, 
kind of the edge of Hebra. Also, st more stuff we can do in Rito Village. Uh, I know a bunch of quests opened up, but in a moment. I'm just really deprived of Sky stuff. I needed to do it. And Koroks. All right, to Lin, let's do this. Woo! This makes it so much easier. You know, I think I have time to loot this. Yeah. All because of Tulin's ability. Or this? Not a problem. Yep. Plenty of time. Boop. <laughs> Let me get the pebblets. I see a rock circle over there. <laughs> it's gonna just drag me alongside the mountain. Not that I can be mad at that. Kite. Goodbye, Horblin Hammer. He's trying to shoot him. <laughs> the tool in the background. There's an archer. But the archer has a backpack. And they're eating. Hopefully not the frost stuff. Not very edible. Almost killers. <laughs> okay, Tulin. <laughs> what are you made of? Bloom seed, fan, golden apple. Uh, what's my most used? <laughs> we have some funnies. Here. I'm gonna set this attack up. Tulin, do it. Shoot him. I don't know how that works. <laughs> you just have to go for it. What? Okay. Oh, there we go. When I don't look. Yeah. Cool links don't look at. Insane tooling shots. <laughs> yes. Got this. Or maybe not. Nah. <laughs> I feel like when there's more craziness going on, the help will be more, uh, well, you know, nice to see. And unexpected. I think we need a dragon bone boko bow, you know? But I guess technically better than that, so. Oh my god! I just picked up a seared steak and it didn't. It didn't tell me what a seared steak was! That's incredible! It always used to do that, and I'm so glad it stopped. <laughs> okay, where can I find a rock in this camp? Sorry, I want like a new axe, hammer weapon. I'll have to find one myself. Come on. It ain't rocky around anymore. Do I seriously not have that anymore? Yeah, I don't. I broke all my hammers because we have all these OP spears that I had never asked for. It's okay, we build our own. Um, what's a good material for blade, like box cutter? I think anything that's axe shape could work. Captain Construct 2. <laughs> Not that I want to go this advanced. Oh well. It's only at 2. I know I'm putting on something really stupid for that, but... That's just a sword. Why'd I waste that? <laughs> okay. Until we find a stupid rock. This is our situation. I almost forgot you can do that. I went from having all the hammers, so I stopped worrying about it, to that. And you too. You're not free from this. Also, I love seeing the rock first, before the puzzle. Okay. Just 
here? Yes. <sighs> Too much snow. Also, I see a building platform. <laughs> I want to build some sort of snowmobile. I'm sure there's still so many parts I haven't seen yet, because we've been pretty restricted to just Central Hyrule and Hebra. Which I love that this is like more of a starting location now, because it gives it so much more depth to just really check out and incentive, because there's just so much more. It's still quiet and scenic, but there really is a lot, which I appreciate. You. I'm being so distracted because there's always something else. But it's so much fun. That is the main reason we have the shields. Again, like... <laughs> I guess we'll throw this away? Well, that's cool, but it has quick shot. And I love my quick shot bows. But it's less important in this game. Because at least in Breath of the Wild, quick shot was helpful because when you do the bull time volleys, uh, you know, you want to shoot your arrows fast, so you want to drain all your stamina. But now the stamina only drains per shot, so quick shot is no longer nearly as helpful. <laughs> Which is so sad, I just loved having it as a good modifier. It lost its spark. Hmm. Where was I even going? Like, there's the river there. That's good. Uh, yep. Like that. Is that a Stamilish? It is. I thought it was an Endura Shroom. See, that would have changed things. Endura is just really good. Apparently there's a cave right there. Hmm. Yep, <laughs> automatic. Where could the cave start be? Probably here. Base of the river? No. Yeah, making an offering to the Lord of the Mountain shows cave locations. Oh, wait, is this a cave now? Oh, it is! Oh, the top of the cave. Hebra Headspring Cave. That's cool. It used to just be a waterfall. I like this. Good discovery. <laughs> uh, as sucky as that is. Can be fighting it? Will it gradually work or no? I don't think so. That's what the lizards are for. Or stuff like this. Yes. Oh, wait, it's one of Misko's treasures. What if it's like the snow pants or something? Wait, I. I Ice just does it naturally now. It wasn't just the, the ice like. We found an ice like earlier that was spewing and making those things. But I thought that was just its ability. That's so cool. Well, you know. It's good. that. Hmm. 
recall. Yep, <laughs> see all the little hops we made? And then like that. Take us off. <laughs> Thank ya. The Miskel's treasures. You found it just like that. Snow pants? Oh, frostbite trousers. It wasn't something from Breath of the Wild. Made for ancient rituals. This item's cold absorbing cloth produces frost in low temperature environments? It was? <laughs> huh. Does it act as cold resistance too? I don't think so, but it says it absorbs cold. Wait. No. But that is magical. We get cold weather attack. <laughs> it's probably like a whole like mage's look. Like there are some people wearing some fancy witch looking clothing. I guess that's it. Got the cool slippers. Okay, I dig that. <laughs> Looks funny by itself, but I guess there's more around that we can find in well, more caves. Regardless, let's delete that. Was, we found that cave. These all signify caves because the lore of the mountain was showing us the way earlier. It's all repurposed. Aha. The bubble frog's gotta be, yes. A little bit of silly. We gotta get a silly picture of this guy. That's pretty silly. Except bigger. Yep, there we go. <laughs> That's our picture. Bleh. Nope, there we go. <laughs> Sorry, for a bubble frog, we need a good picture. <laughs> that sells it perfectly. Bubble. <laughs> Yay. Fourteenth hmm. one. Bye bye. Neat. Even if it's just for small things like that, it's like a little puzzle to get up. And then you're there. Hinox. I'm glad we actually are going to the top because we didn't before. Scratch your belly, I know it's itchy. <laughs> Not that we need it. <laughs> but now we need it. Oh, what? No, <laughs> stop. <laughs> I'm trying to get the parts. Wait, it's a spear. I can easily get that. There we go. Knight's Halibrid. Hmm. I'll fuse it with something cool. Attack up five when we do. But first, use the goods. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Headbutt. Wait, the cold weather attack makes the final hit a critical. Oh. Uh, I see now, yeah, it's a level one in the buff. The other buff that we had, was that also cold weather attack? It was. So it increases the damage in cold, but also it adds a frost thing. So it might abide by the same damage things too. Maybe it's like a 20% damage buff. Get him. Cool and go. <laughs> That's cool. Soldier's bow. Banana. And what does that mean for us? Yeah, we don't need a soldier's bow. Only like 12 damage. Peaceful. This is what we needed. We did this before, but I never ascended into that cage. 
this little river. Because the bottom was a Korok Sea, but then I just left normally. Something's gonna regen. Rockets. Rocket shield. Yeah, let's do one more. Hey. That should at least connect it. <laughs> I know you're weak, though. Can't wait for more slots. Oh, you can make an axe now. We were to start from that before. On one hand, that's fine. Stone axe. I know it's desperate strength, but... That's kind of sick. <laughs> There's with the icing. It sells any... Yeah. Cool. It might use durability, but... Eh. Temporary axe. Doing it well. Good. No time will be in there. And then I'm going to ascend into there. The thing you can barely see. Welcome to the river cruise. It's quiet. We killed a lot. But. It's ascending time. Because last time, yeah, we just went out. I wasn't even thinking about what was above. Q, please. Close. Very close. That's gotta do it. That's cool. It's from like the sky ship. So like that's where all these ruins came from. Because it's the same architecture as there. So this whole area was teasing that location. The dungeon. Mighty construct boat. Uh, again. I guess. <laughs> It's de definitely better. I don't think this was. Yeah, it's all going to be treasure chest. Upsetty. We just don't need it. Finding already good stuff. Need that. Still, I got to see what it is. I'll learn my ascend and my moves more. Also, at one point I saw a Lionel, but and then I said we're gonna do it, and then I forgot where it was. Hmm. But if I was a Lionel, where would I be? These are the questions we must ask. Hi. Bye. <laughs> And he burned up without even noticing. They make him easy. Okay. Is that a sturdy or one of the. Yeah, the gnarled ones. We've been seeing those pop up. Maybe that's part of the scaling, too. Yeah, it's a greater attack power one. Um, I guess it's still the Night Broadsword. We just have too much Zone Eye stuff. I like the durability one for making axes, though. Black Lizzle. <laughs> it's only a feathered edge with that. But of course, it's long throw, and like. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I don't like the long throw. That's cool. We can milk that out with a good weapon. Um, Knight's Halibrood. Hmm. That is good damage. Because the attack up. This is kind of a pointless weapon. There's just so many choices. We want Koroks more than ever. We did that puzzle. Where's the Korok? Right? Yeah, we did them. Okay. Um, 
Let's look for a flat piece of line. That's where the Lionel is. I think it's on the other side. I'm not forgetting him this time. Yep, I see him. Not anymore. Just for a split second. Ha! A little more flushed out. They look less plushy. <laughs> That's a bad picture. We don't have the elemental arrows anymore. Of course they don't. There's no elemental arrows in the game. <laughs> Unless they fuse stuff, which... Which is not centered. Screw it. That's a fine picture. Ugh. <laughs> you thought. You thought. <laughs> I thought. Okay, <laughs> that the arrow in my shield. Wait, get the arrow. This will be an easy kill. We fought a white one earlier, so. It's already two tiers up. Oh, it's a new move. Get him, Tulin. Okay. Now, assuming durability is still not taken. I wonder if it is, because, yeah. It's still true of durability. It doesn't. Okay. So, Tech and Lionel back still is durability free. Very nice. Let's go. <laughs> oh, place is bumping out. Two can do whatever damage. Headshots will be preferred, though. To get him weak. I see the lower his health, too, the less we can stay on him, which is a nice feature. The flurries will be better. And also just maximizing the damage down here. Keep going. Woo. Hit him from the back. One more good combo can get him very low. This should work. Come on. Yep. And combo finish. <laughs> Badly damaged. Go with the wind. Long throw is actually really nice in this game now. <laughs> they really buffed the crap out of it. Never thought I would be giving praise to long throw. Might like it better than quick shot finally. Oops. <laughs> I saw some unknowns. Mighty Lionel Bow. Lionel Macehorn? Okay. Get all this for our logs. Or so I prefer. Yeah, when it's a little more full. A Knight's Broadsword. Yeah. This I'm going to save for uh, upgrading stuff. Yes, no, no savage Lionel swords, I guess. Using the battered human stuff. A lot of arrows. No, nope. take the weapon first. It will keep. I don't want to take that yet. A sharp shield. That's busted. Yeah, the, the other part is the horn. Inventory. Uh, yeah, mace horn and saber horn. So it feels like the two parts of a Lionel. Saber horn deals more damage, so. Um, I wonder if just one's better and one's not as good. Maybe all Lionels have a different combination. Ooh, wait, 25 times three. I don't know what the Breath of the Wild counterpart was, but that's very good. <laughs> Saka plus five. Oh, we're gonna fill up on uh, 
these bows again. Also, did none of these have modifiers? I just assumed they did. Oh, because we broke all those. That's right. Oh, cool. We're getting modifiers on mighty tier loot. I'll be at weak modifiers. And then it should go into strong modifiers and then the next tier. Right, also, we no longer have the cold buff. So it tells us when we can take advantage of it. If the pants are glowing, then we get the cold buff. <laughs> Uh oh. I knew that. <laughs> Shrine right there. Wow. Huh. My pins aren't exact. Because it was kind of hard to figure out the locations. But this seems better. Hmm. What is this? Note on the table. Nat's Mushroom Quest Chronicle? Wait, was Nat the person who tipped us off about the Misco treasures? Like the clothing uh, camps? My sister Megan. Wait, Nat and Megan. These are travelers from Breath of the Wild. I don't know if it's a traveling couple. It's a treasure! Yeah, wait, the mu They were trying to find hearty truffles. Nat and Megan, you can save them like multiple different times. And uh, they keep looking for hearty truffles. And as soon as you... Uh, take down the enemies that are fighting them, they just go right back to the truffle hunt. So that's who they are. Brother and sister. Or siblings. Uh, thanks to the upheaval, all sorts of new caves formed. Of course they would be on it. Sister and I aren't after the bright boom seeds and the ore deposits. After the pressure, precious mushroom, probably the bright caps. Oh. Is this them though? I think it is. Yeah? Uh. It is Nat and Megan. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I love picking up on those small things. They really use or evolve these travelers well. From their first game adventures to the second. <laughs> A lot of other caves that opened by the upheaval. It's really full of creatures different from anything we know. Well, that's huh? exciting. And gather bright caps. <laughs> At least 10 of them. <laughs> I think everyone will have 10 of them by this point in the game. That soft light. I do have bright caps. Uh, <laughs> that's all you're after. <laughs> Spicy tomato. <laughs> mm. It's amazing. Oh. I love a good cave. Hold all sorts of wonderful things, alluring things, valuable things, like the gems from ore deposits, bright bloom seeds. What could I do? Oh. <laughs> I can make the glowing foods with the bright caps. Uh. I don't really need to. I like just throwing down the seeds. Sister secrets. <laughs> uh... Yeah, we can cook the bright caps to be glowing. And we have some food like that. <laughs> if we meet again, it would be fate. Then we have to tell him. Because uh... this guy caught your eye. Uh... Every meeting's faded. Because it's bound to happen. Uh... Scouring high and low for something here in the Hebrew region. We search most of the south, tend to go north. Uh, okay, so they might be north again. Oh. <laughs> hmm. It's like these evolving quest lines. You find them the first time, then you have to go back. Cave mushrooms that glow. It's like how we have to go back to the stables to make stories for the newspaper. Because then we can get a cool armor. Which I would like. Bright cap cave. <laughs> there better be something here. Hmm. You know, also better be uh, rocks, so I can make a yes <laughs> a thingy. Stone axe, knights. Okay, no more axe, hammer, better for this. There we go. Horblins. I like fighting these guys up ahead. Loot first, though. Pointy. Not the right bow. Damage one first. Rita one stays, because it's so nice having the quick shot and long range. 
You never know when you need that. That's kind of a good one. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> oh, the bo not the bomb flower. That could have been very brutal. Hit him with the rock, yeah. I think he crushed his own head. Thank you. Tulin. Rock sledge. I got more night stuff. For that desperate strength. Like, like. I think he wants to eat something. You know what? We've been depriving him of food. Yeah, I know you like weapons. You want to eat it? So he likes weapons and shields. It's part of its description. Yeah, if you want this, you can have it. He's trying to eat it. Yeah, I took it. 220 for you? How does it taste? Oh! He digests that! <laughs> no, it's gone, gone. <laughs> Bye, Lionel Shield. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> there we go. I don't need Lionel Shields. <laughs> Oh, we get it back. Okay. Yep, just like in the classic Zeldas. If you eat your sword or shield, you gotta kill him, otherwise you don't get it back. Man, it's like, I don't even need that bow. But I do like... Oh, another mystical thing. I do like having a basic bow just to kind of pick stuff off. But just faster fire rate, and that'll be perfect for that. Yeah. See. I just want some lizards really quick. I can get some lizards really quick. Giants. So where are the mushrooms? I guess that's the secret reward of this cave. Wait a second. Didn't I just... Is this the same one I was looking at? Huh. <gasps> Frostbite shirt! Nice! We already found the, the tunic parts! <laughs> Ooh, made for ancient rituals, yeah. Cold absorbing cloth produces frost in low temperature environments. Wow. Literally look like an ice god. <laughs> I like this a lot. This is really cool armor. Wonder what the headpiece is gonna look like. Maybe we'll have to bring on cold resistance, though. <laughs> Literally a frozen character. The Elsa of this game. Sorry, just... <laughs> Yay, magic. Snow. Also, never mind. We just looked at it from that side, so... That's cool. I like finding those in the caves. All the Misko treasures. Sadly, it's not cold in these caves. Sorry. That one didn't die. Oh. Usually it died to one headshot. Probably just not enough damage, though. 15. Nice, even number now. I guess, yeah, center of the map, too. Hmm. After this, we should probably explore more Sky Islands. I'm hungry for that, honestly. And this stuff's up cold, or up high and out and cold. Let me know how to settle this with this fancy coal armor. Okay. 
Okay. Let's get out this way. Because we can check if we missed anything. Sometimes it's at our six. We have the bubble frog. We have a cool piece of loot. Some mushrooms, I guess. This is the one horrible one. Not too horrible. Blin. Oh, shrine. <laughs> I'm glad we went up. We'll remove that one. Trick to getting in here. Boss Picoblin. <laughs> Orm Uwak Shrine. Let's go. <laughs> uh, it's like, I'm like, yeah, Sky Islands are fine. And then just like this whole thing, it's like, oh, this, this, this. <laughs> but I like it all. You're weaving throughout the world the top, middle, bottom, top, middle, bottom. Launching device. We do need to learn more about these. More rockets. <laughs> Always appreciated. I feel like every region will have their own like puzzle motifs. So a lot of rocket stuff around here. I'm sure we'll get plenty of other stuff from other regions. It's even like there's some stuff I only seen like once in like bottom of central Hyrule. <laughs> this might have been an early one. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. What do we have for rocket stuff? I'm going to build one more rocket shield. So having two is pretty nice. But obviously don't use it yet. Got a mine cart. It's like showing us that, hey... We can rocket this. Wait, but also... Aha! We can ride the rails! Wait, is that... It's, it's a little bit cooler. Yeah, I feel like the friction just a lot lower, but... On tracks is the specialty here. Okay, I like that a lot. So minecart shield's cool. It's like a plastic toy-like appearance on there. I took my base shield. Okay, keeping that as is. Uh, wait, let's attach a rocket to it. If I need a rocket sword, I can, but... Typically not. It just makes the throw more deadly. Cart. We got hella derailed. But we're safe regardless. Okay, that's a rocket station we need to go on. There's the chest, too. I got this. <laughs> we only need one rocket. But. Use the other two for greatness. <laughs> Our own elevators. Only our imagination can stop us. But I more so have to stop my imagination. Yeah! Oh, get out, get out! Thank you. Thank you for that curve so I was able to slip out there. Ruby. And that was the only, sh only sh chest. We're good. Wait, one more for the fun. Ow. I'm just gonna put it directly on top. 
Again, nothing's stopping me. Oh, that leads all the way there. <laughs> okay, that was definitely uh, overkill in the best way. I like that. Get the orb. Okay, ready enough for... Well, we can get our first heart besides the dungeon one and the one at the beginning of the game. Or I could save it for another wheel of stamina, who knows. <laughs> it's just so handy. I really don't mind. Okay, we have that. I am going to back out before I get too carried away. Because first... Tower. There's a lot of archipelagos we could visit here. Let's go do that. I will... Uh, Oh, you know, I actually think this is an enemy base, so I, I should probably take it on first. I was about to say, take a restroom break, but, uh, yeah, if I do that and then there's enemies, I will get plunged. I just really want more Zonite civilizations in the sky. I know we're going to see some. Yep. <gasps> Wait a second, the spiky ball's here. There's some neat stuff. Desperate strength on that. That could be fun. That's 15 damage. Uh, but on a halberd, that could be really good. Uh oh. They've all ranked up a bit now. Okay. Well, let's see what we can do. <laughs> OP weapon. Let's break it. Oh, he's going to blow himself up. He backed out. He did a smart. <laughs> Smartest Bacoblin moment. Oh, yeah, that's a really good bow. God. To the side. Ah! Ow! My health. <laughs> he died to something, too. Well, well, good enough. <laughs> they're attacking that far. Oh, they're trying to attack Tulin. <laughs> okay, good. Eat in a moment. We'll find roasted stuff. I'm loving that first. An activated boss Bacoblin mode. Why just pop it out and not use it this time? I didn't like that. If you're gonna throw something at me, do it wrong. There we go. Instant. Full stay instant. And then you. Bows are so OP. It's nuts. Try better than that. Go. Woo. Yeah. Got him. <laughs> oh, other oh, guy's gonna spin. <laughs> Saw that coming. <laughs> Don't have a gnarled thick stick yet. Ooh. Yeah. Not to me, you won't. <laughs> there we go. Slow combo. I have this stuff. I think it's going to be good for a fairy coming up, but... I guess we'll have to see. <laughs> and let's see. Uh... Yes. <laughs> There we go. All peaceful again. <laughs> I don't want to test these bombs. Just like that. Enough for one arrow. And a piece of meat. Thank you for not reminding me of it. 
Not reminding me to vets. Yeah, I love that. Because it always used to tell you it was a piece of meat in Breath of the Wild. And it's like, <laughs> I know what the meat is. You don't have to always tell me. No, it's too late. Wait, what if he gusts the bombs into the wall? It's too heavy. No, not because I'm going to keep it. Better picture. Yep. Perfectionist. Ultimate. We're just doing really good on the whole log right now. Like, compendium. I mean, equipment's going to be the weakest, but... 42, 46, almost halfway with the monsters. Unless it's like really notable, I won't check it out during stream or anything. Because it's like pretty straightforward. <laughs> Yay, foods. Oh, I don't always have to cook. Knight's broadsword. Soldier's broadsword. Cool. Make more two-handed hammer weapons than we can. The spike ones work well, though. <laughs> Again, it's so much. I'm just trying to use up all the zone eye stuff because it's just a bunch. Oh, I forgot we we're going to put that in a spike ball. But, oh, well. <laughs> Make something even greater. Let's go. <laughs> Woohoo. Got so quiet. Okay. I think we checked out that one island before, but that is it. So what else can we check out? There's this stuff over here. This seems more like a little city. <laughs> I'm really excited to check this stuff out. We'll start low. Wow. Another platform. That might be where you fight a... Flux construct thingy. See, Great Plateau. We didn't check that out. Can't wait to see how they change that. I just keep seeing a bunch of chasms where shrines were. Like, that's where a shrine was. Uh, that's where a shrine was. Hell, on the Great Plateau where every shrine was, there is a chasm. So. wonder how that's going to play into everything. Rocket. Shattered away. Can't hear any bows. Uh, so that's our way up with the rockets. I'm so glad there's more fire fruit. <laughs> We've used so much in the cold area, but they're not in the cold areas. Sunderline, we got those. I like being a little photographer. It's probably going to be a way later to buy the pictures, but I assume more expensive because rupees are a lot harder to come by in this game. Dazzle fruits. If we got okay, we just we got all that stuff. These islands are so pretty. Onion. Sky shroom. And Koroks will be excellent. Yeah, they're quiet and peaceful. <gasps> Aha. Pink birds. Okay. I like them all the same. <laughs> More of those constructs could be cool. We're hopefully some new enemies in the sky. It's been all just the normals, the captains, and the constructs. Well, the Flux Construct 3 that we fought was cool in the Labyrinth. Oh, is the chest dangling? What? Ah, <laughs> uh, tricky. Of course, they would pull something like that. <laughs> Not quite in reach, is it? Um, we'll make it in reach. Let's find a platform. That I'm sure exists somewhere. What? Well, if there was something, it's dead now. 
Oh! Rocket guy. Wouldn't be that fatal. That is for him, though. Okay. Yep. We can get that chest. Too. I like this. Just rocket propelling all these. I never thought, like, the building thing would be a huge element in Zelda games, but... I like how they're making a game where all drone it. I still want to be able to build houses. Also, a train around Hyrule could be cool. They get really elaborate. I just can't wait to fi start finding steering wheels. Because we found one outside of a stable, but... Hopefully ones that are easier to just spawn in ourselves. That'd be cool. Also, birdie. That's a hawk, isn't it? Ooh, Islander hawk. Ooh. We're just gonna run into something. It usually does. Oh no, I actually dodged it this time. Usually they're struggling. Okay. Like halfway there. If we go here though. I don't even know if to move it. It is! That might be enough. I think so. We are ungodly close. We just can't break the vine yet. <laughs> okay, um... It's a little closer. A little closer, a little lower, and then we'll get it. See, I think we're in here. I got an idea. Just had to be cut loose first. Uh, why is that not good enough? Octo balloon? We don't even have those yet. If there is still a thing in the game. I think I saw an Octorok. Alright, time to build some really stupid inventions so we can do this. Okay. <laughs> Add a little weight. <laughs> Tilt it down. The weight should have been enough. Okay. Keep going. Fine. Even more weight. <laughs> Go. Wait. You fell to the wrong thing. Get back up. No. <laughs> You're kidding me. No, you're not. We're fine. No, we did it good. Old map, okay. These are very important finds all the way in the desert, probably. Wow. You might think we're screwed, but we're clearly not. Smartness. Because eventually it was somewhere else, wasn't it? It was up here. Okay. Like that. Yes! <laughs> Yay! We got it. It was, it was a little, uh, more effort, but it was done, wasn't it? Yay. At least an easy way to go back. We just had to use a glider. We recall this up a little bit. 
Yeah. Or nah. Hammer it. Woo -hoo -hoo. That's all we need to go. Perfect. There's water gates there. <laughs> you have the momentum just cause it to stick here. Well, that's incredible. Were we even there? I don't know. We were. I just missed that tree, didn't I? It's okay, after this. So I put one cork in a tree that I couldn't find. Yep. Yeah. I'll take that. Who knows when we need an axe? <gasps> so nice with the sun. <laughs> Apples? Yay. Literally all golden right now. Durish room. <laughs> I like that a bit better though. Yeah, <laughs> more in focus. It's like full restore of stamina. Can't believe we came from there. There's that whole thing. That's got to be some sort of a town. I would like to think, you know. Okay, I saw an identical structure to this. Let it go. Ancient Erwana. Oh, drain the gates? I see that's like a latch of some sort. Sages will! Okay, it's our second one. Yeah, deeper connection with the sages. Probably for upgrading this ability. That's fine. 13 of them. Oh, the path got reset. Already went back for it. Just a couple fishies. Two? Just because of our lack of quantity of them. I will take that. For you, isn't it? We can just lock these gates with uh, and the wood piece. But that's not going to drain all the way. Damn. How about that? Oops. Technically, could if we just. Are a bit more patient. Drain that. Then we let Recall do its thing. We'll figure out this puzzle. What? This is just too much force for that. Earlier with heavier stuff, but it's not what we got. Okay. 
please. <laughs> it's just attaching to the wrong thing. Gas is just gonna snap off, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe the angle last time was off. So this time, uh, oh, thank you. Yeah, you know what? The person, the contract earlier had an axe. It only makes sense that we need an axe to do this. You always kind of lean to the next puzzle. This one, same just. I think we just need all the water to leave. Now we go like that. That should work. Good. Fireflies making their way down. And this should be fully drained. It is. The spoils are mine. So I think it's just for these chests, and these ones are stable to the ground. On the last one, they were floating, so we could just... We didn't really have to do this puzzle. I wonder why it was repeated, regardless. Magic rod. Okay. That's how you make the better magic rods with things. nice looking. Put like a topaz on it, I can make an electric. A sapphire should be the best though because, you know, blizzard rods, it's like the equivalent. Yeah. Yep, blizzard rod. And we killed something doing it. Okay. Um, a shock sword. That will swap for something. Um, Again, I'm still keeping this long throw bomb barrel because it, it, it'll come in handy at some point. This is fun for ice. Love ice and boomerangs. Uh, Knight's broadsword. Could not tell you. I just want like a basic breaker, you know? So it's like... <laughs> Why are the decisions so tough? You know, Ice Boom works fun, but it's got to be low now. I just, I'm going to miss out. But we'll put in a better boomerang next. You like a Lizzle one. That's the weakest of the weak. Dispenser. Got it. And if there's a shrine, that'll be good too. Here, really quick, I will mark the island with the stump because we forgot a small thing on it. Hmm. Yeah. Really quick before we glide over and build this mechanism, I'm just gonna use the restroom. Uh, <laughs> give me like two minutes again. So, first little break, I like this and it seems like we're getting something cool. It's all cool though. Zonite thing. I never seen one of those in the sky. We'll build this bird thing. Uh, We'll be right back. We'll have a stream guardian. You guys can vibe out to the night music. Uh, for stream watchers, we have Oink. And we have Boink. The baby Oink. And also, so I don't confuse people, made this really cheaply right before the stream. Restroom break. So people know I am going to the restroom and not just like gone. So, wow. So handy, right? Okay. Give me like two minutes. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys are doing well. Sip of water. All right, be right back.
Yay. It's almost morning. <laughs> they were mesmerized. They want to see. Hello. Yeah, we can build this mechanism to get over. Break over. Okay. I'll make a fancier sign next time, but just for the clarity. You know, the piggies don't say it themselves already. So I think it's like a Toy Story scenario where they talk when I'm not there, but I'll never hear it. Yeah. But yeah, thank you guys for uh, well, just vibing here. It is day seven of tears being out. So I've been playing this every day of the week. So the first Thursday Tears of the Kingdom stream was today, Wednesday, yesterday, and all days of the week. I don't know, just an interesting thought. With tomorrow, the game would have been out for one week then. I need this picture. It's kind of a nice picture. It's getting further and further, and I don't like that. Yes. Here we go. That's actually a bit nicer. There's more. Yay. It's like, why not take them? <laughs> then Tulin starts attacking them. No, not now. I like these, how these are kind of like more linear challenges though. We go about them in your own way. Like exterior shrines, kind of. Gives me that sort of feeling. Where's the lock on point? There. And there. This is nice. <laughs> It's like just a very horizontal glider. Oh, hey, Rocket Man. Good thing we had just enough, right? Bunk. Friend. Just got shot into the vehicle. Is that three drops? Whoa. Uh. Oh my god, the rocket shots! Those do go crazy. Good. <laughs> no burns here. I love how they have rocket arrows, though. Okay, maybe more rocket dispenser? That could be what this is. 83 again, because we keep getting them. I'll put in a few loads. <laughs> Also, I'm just digging this outfit too much. Oh wait, that does look like... Wheels! Yes! I can finally have my own wheels! Spins quickly and is best suited for flat surfaces. Doesn't handle hills or bumps very well. So that's if you want to build a race car. The big wheels are more off-road. And light! Okay, I've seen these on a car before. Uh, that was being driven in the underworld. Yeah, dark road or caves. Underground exploration will be made awesome with that. Hopefully steering wheels. I feel like I find that later. There we go, getting more of the rare stuff. Uh, lights. Oh, yeah, that's how we got all the good stuff. Bombs, wheels, lights, rockets. So this is better to do it because I don't care too much about time bombs, but the other three... Build up a little nest egg. We'll just do two more. Because <laughs> wheels we need in big quantities. Four to make a car. Or a bike with two, but still. <laughs> there we go. One more. I like it's a little uh, gotcha machine. Yay. It's a lot of time bombs, though, sadly. But rockets are nice, so... Yeah. 13 wheels, 13, 13 lights. Couple more wheels, actually. We have 16 wheels, it's like four cars. Or just one really big thing. Okay, I see. 
Uh, I saw like one more wheel too. There we go. 16 wheels. Yeah, 16 wheels. That's good. Already a lot from just some of our spare parts. Exploring a Zelda esque world that uh, I don't know what's coming again because I love always researching through Breath of the Wild, but uh, yeah, I don't know what the other abilities are for doing the dungeons or you know, even what these new orb things that we keep finding are that I think increase the sage's power. What are they called again? Uh, sage's will. That's cool. Hmm. What's another Sky Islands? The mystery is so nice. And I assume that's a tablet that we can't read. I keep seeing these flower buds and... Yeah, there was one up here. We have to decipher some text, so... Maybe that's related to a quest. Might all be the same shape island. So if I go there, it's just a stone tablet. I... I can't read. But I would love to at some point. Pretty. <laughs> There's some loot within it. Oh, that's uh, it's like those glider rails for the bird stuff. You know, just half finished, but yeah, it's a good launching platform. So that's what this is likely for. The rest of it, though. I prefer my own launching mechanism with, uh, this thing. But first, yeah, this seems more interesting. It's a shrine, but not there. Hidden shrine? Uh, I don't see a shrine. Seek the crystal connected to the beam and offer it at the shrine. Do so and I'll grant you a light that banishes evil. Oh, it's a shrine quest! Oh, it's like the exterior ones! But it shows you where the shrine is first. Oh, so this whole thing's a shrine! What the? I like that. Just like a gyro thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, haha. <laughs> There's a chest dangling. It's kind of like an exterior shrine. Makes sense for the sky. So I see the problem. That chest will always be there because of the way it's dangling, right? Oh, we can wrap it around. If it's a twine, we can wrap that chest around. Okay, no. Like that. Go a little slower. Yeah! We got this. Perfect. <laughs> yes. Oh, that loose rope. <laughs> Just all coiled up. Give me my chest. Yay. <laughs> Probably the easiest way to handle it. Of course, the old maps. It's it's going to make exploring the depths a lot more interesting. Just to kind of route us. So we're not fully blind into it. So maybe after a bunch of the sky exploration, uh, more of that. It seems to loosely relate to the area, at least. Like, um, it's not like it's giving us stuff that's super far away. It's like, you know, that stuff, we explored more of the stuff on the left side. And the depth stuff, it's not like anything very far. Like, it's still kind of in this area, so that's accessible from here. Maybe that, under the plateau. Okay, so let's find a... Uh, 
thing. I, know, I just appreciate how peaceful this is. And golden. <laughs> It's gotta be something like this. And it'll update gradually. It's gotta. Yep, okay. Slowly turning in place. Oh, that was actually the chest thing. The coils are still. I would save you from your misery, but. Seems like it's gotta last. Also. Wait. Oh, is that Feroche? It is. Hey, Feroche. What are you doing above Grudo? Yeah. Usually it's more the highlands that they're by. The routes are more expanded with <laughs> this phenomena. this. Yeah, and carrots. Wait, hearty, hearty radish. We finally found them. <laughs> okay. Good. First hearty truffles, then hearty bass. Not that. Can't wait for the durians. The most clutch of foods. Okay. Point me to it. Uh, not that. Wrong tool. Yeah. Besides that and the one chest. Yeah, it was just kind of a mini puzzle outside. So would it be a blessing shrine or a full one? This is our first shrine quest, though, so... I don't know if they all handle this way, but... I don't know. I don't know if they re some relate to people themselves. It's more of a... <laughs> we won't know unless we try. Granting you a life that banishes evil. And I accidentally skipped it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> But I assume it's just uh, <laughs> rising out of the sky. Damn it. All right, it's above the Great Plateau. Yep, blessing. That's a very easy one. And they're all always Raru's blessings. Yep. The old king of Hyrule. Good reward. <laughs> Those are still worth 500, so all the other gems tanked in value. The diamond truly is unbreakable. <laughs> it's the best. Oh, so we have this that gets exchanged with the goddess statue. There is that other type of orb that also does that. So goddess statues are more than just the orbs of light. Good to know. Always nice to have a warp. Let's go uh really quickly to that one again. Just so I can get that one cork that I missed. And there might be more around somewhere. There's that one. Hmm. Sometimes it's hard to tell. That one we were at like a while ago. This one seems likely. Yeah, it would be there. I just want to get that Korok off of it. That's okay. I'm still waiting to see some other Zonai civilization up here. It looks like really big and promising from afar. And then you get close and it's like, okay, not fully. Oh, wait, there's a platform below. We weren't there yet. So after we do this, let's do that. Uh, 
wait, this way. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right up ahead. Let's see the tree stump where we gotta go. That was like a fairy fountain kind of thing. Nice and quiet. I wonder all that that simple time is doing. <laughs> I don't know if anything's re-inhabited up there. That could be interesting. Because it was like the birthplace of Hyrule. Yeah, come to think of it, in the one memory, yeah. That's where Zelda and Rauru were. Birthplace of Hyrule on the Great Plateau. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah, the ice attack. Pop to you too. It seemed like there was a nice attack. Couldn't tell you sometimes. But that's what this armor really does. I just like it because it looks cool. So, mage-like. Anything kind of archaic in the sky fits well. That's Great Sky Island. Got that vertical dungeon looking one there. I found a mini game island before. Those must have the constructs on them. Or maybe they're like little war zones, you know? So let's check that out. If we can go there and. Yeah, the one below first, and then launch off to see more. Fully explore the skies. The sky's the limit. Big limits. I think that's the biggest incentive for this, is just those dispensers and finding out a lot you can get from that. Also, however we can get that. I think another rocket platform will take us there. But in the meantime, let's check out the blue. <laughs> Find them from the skies. You might just be a level one again. Oh, level two. No, we need the funny far shots. Uh oh. Well, I'll quickly nuke some of these pictures. Yep. Go! <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Got a little funny turn in there. No, that one's looking up at me. Okay. Have to appreciate the funniest. Alright. So what is a two gonna be like? Maybe not too much different. Yeah, two. <laughs> Unintentional funnies. Ow! Ow! <laughs> I'm being tossed! Whoa! Don't kick down, at least. Take off enough blocks. We'll make him mad enough to just spill. Uh, yes, okay. What happens if we take it off the island itself? Goodbye. Oh no, <laughs> it knew. It's like, don't be that cruel. What sort of challenge is that? More map. I like these maps. Mm. Oh, <laughs> you gotta get closer. I can't quite climb that. But I can't climb this. <laughs> Jump dodge. Dimensional travel. Okay. You gonna get over? I doubt you're gonna attack me while up here. Or that too. Lower! Oh, lower with each shot. Now. 
<laughs> a hell beating? Sure. Like that. <laughs> and... Yeah, I know it's like the desperate strength thing, but... I'm desperate for a kill. <laughs> Didn't fall off. Good. Not good. Reforming there. So he adds. Oh, always oh, does three phases, doesn't he? Oh! Crap. <gasps> Can't fool around. More aggressive with each tier. And then. Uh, whoop. That was close, actually. <laughs> very, very close. Ooh. Break up enough, but mainly that core is what you want. Take it out. Yeah! <laughs> I'm not using the multi shot as a multi shot. Cannot parry that. So. It just busted up my shield. Ooh. Fist of anger. And then another. Another. Ah! Ah! Almost got stomped to death. Didn't give him the chance. Little rockets. Uh, seems like a. Large zone I charge. That just looked cool. From the angle. That's not a bad thing. Um, I feel like they'll be better than Soldier Construct Horn, that one. Um, hmm. Yeah, I feel like that's a better version of the that Construct Horn. Wait, was that 18 to 20? <laughs> so not too great, honestly. We just kind of... I think that was 18 to 20. It was, okay. <laughs> Still barely an increase. But I had to put on something that would actually resonate well. The Desperate Strength thing we use very sparingly, so... Be awesome for one heart runs. Nice thing about low hearts is we can drain our hearts with the uh, with the gloom sword, get down to one heart, and then take full advantage of the spear. But if we're doing that, we would make a much better one anyways. So I'm just using this for the durability. Batteries. Oh, so this is how we get over, which we want to. Hmm. Yeah, this has got to be the craft. Uh, See, there's some other sky islands like there. Pretty big one too. If I want to make it there, which is very high. And that one. We will need this rocket ship. It already has the fire things in it, pre-built. And the batteries, wow. Only thing it's missing is yeah, rockets. Just for a nice jump start. There's also that one island right there. That's kind of interesting. There's a Korok on it. Hmm. That's more batteries if you really want them. I guess it's saying, yeah, the more the better. So if you want to use all four. Either way, it should work decent. Just the way it is. Hmm. I don't know. I guess if you need more, because this is kind of fine for now. Yeah. Batteries will make this last super long. Gotta make sure the balloons hold up. The first battery already left? 
Oh, they're neural batteries, not big batteries. Got it. We needed a bit more. We could make it there. Okay. If we make it there, then I think I could have enough power to s find, make some sort of mechanism over there. Dispense her in a shrine. Hmm. Yeah, we have enough. I love this. <laughs> okay. Lord Zonai charge, it's up to you. I know I'm hiding it, but... Lord Zonai charge. There we go. It's full restore as well. <laughs> So we'll do the higher one, and then we'll come down for that Korok. Because, yeah, I guess it's just a Zonite mine in the sky. There's a lot underneath the world, but... Neat. Luminous, never mind. Thank you. Old map! <laughs> All super helpful. You gotta find everything, so. Oh, that one's actually pretty close to uh, the Hebrew area we are, we're in. I'm glad we're doing this. It's like you really gotta strike that balance between the stuff in the sky and the surface and ground and <laughs> all different areas. You know, it's cool that there's caves on the surface too. So much variety there. Ooh. <laughs> Almost full stoplight. <laughs> Just no topaz. Okay. <laughs> Meant to break. Yes. I wonder how Luminous plays into this, because, like, Zonite was a big thing, but Luminous also kind of feels sacred in its own way. Although, just a lot more common now. Cracked rock. Interesting. I wonder if I have Bizzard business in the desert anytime soon, though. Labyrinth is neat, though. If I do need to make it there, I know how. I mean, that's... That's the old ancient text that I can't read. Maybe going to Kakariko will be helpful for learning that. Yay. Yeah. Hmm. First things first, I'm gonna go to that one island where there's the Korok. There's a Nabet. <laughs> no Korok left unfound. <laughs> gonna stay there for a second longer. It's, uh, wants to make sure you're committed. We're very committed, Korok. <laughs> Will we find all? We may never know. Yeah, I want apples. The axe, please. Gimme, gimme. <laughs> They're good quick restores. No golden apples, though. We did offer a golden apple as an offering to Lord of the Mountain. And that's to show us the caves. I don't know if it's just golden apples. That was just like the second thing we tried. I think first was a normal apple and it didn't work. Hmm. Yeah, I'm done for more dispensers so we can build the cool ships. If I can build a flying machine with the steering wheel and everything, get some more battery to do so, I'll be happy. And the large crystallized chlorus, I I just want to find a place I can spend my zonite so I can buy more of those. Because I have like 500 zonite and I still don't know how to really make use of it. There's like a small shop on the Great Sky Island, but I'm sure if I keep going, I'll find something greater. It's always that specific spot. 
Hmm. That could be fun. It's badly damaged, we break it. Hmm. I believe that's where we came from, or past time it was. Um, so if we want to build a ship, the tools for that are down here. So yeah, Great Plateau Shrine in the little cave area. I think that's the only one in the plateau. I'm hoping we can go high up again to find more anti-gravity areas, because there was one uh, at the north maze. Maybe it's tied to like the mazes, because they all seem to go very high up, like the uh, the giant box in the sky. Okay, let's save load here. I can get everything to respawn. We can load that, and then yeah, we can build a kind of a flying machine to get over to the other chain to our uh, west. I need more and I really want to find some sort of Sky City. Because I'd love to talk to more uh, the stewards. That area was so much fun. Okay. Well, I guess for more, just the batteries. Don't stack them, because then if the bottom one dies first, the other one flies off. So make sure they are on the actual base. I was more used to the big batteries, which last like, I don't know, it's maybe like four of those in one. Anyways, let's rocket this a bit. Two of them. Get a head start. We could also kind of guide it in the direction of this. So if we're going there, just, yep, tilt it one away. It can't be on the bottom of something, so <laughs> we'll do it from here. So that's fully that way. That is a good trade off. Don't want to get too interrupted by the trees. More of the flamethrower things if we need it. But we don't. There we go. Yay. Becoming a tilt expert. Too. Oh, kinda. Yeah. Sure. Four batteries on this thing, a rocket for a kickstart. Uh, this should be okay. We ready? I think so. Hit it. Woo! Yes. Okay. Just get us a little closer. We have four batteries to work off. I think the balloons might expire first. Oh wait, yeah, you can see them juice down. Probably gonna use the first attached one. This one. So I guess it's not just time based, it's also how many mechanisms we have going. We'll drain it faster. What the? Aha! What's a cooler picture? That's just cool though. <laughs> it's like, let's decide. Hmm. Yeah, I like that one, but I like this more. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Not me messing that up. That battery's almost dead. We got one more after this. Good thing about the mess up with this, it doesn't make... Well, it's not like the platform falls, because this one stays nicely. Yeah, this should be fine. 
Still can't wait to see that though. Huh. Hmm. Which first? If there's usually a shrine on the platform with the throwers. So let's do it. East Gerudo Sky Archipelago. Hmm. Actually, we can't make it to that one first, so I might as well try, you know? Seems like there's another area, too. That's kind of cool. Explore the sky, make uh, land travel and underground travel more efficient and easier. Ooh. Wait. Oh, it's a stake, isn't it? How do we do this? Uh, <laughs> the mighty sword gets put in stone. Or <laughs> the mighty sword is has to be higher for stone. <laughs> Icky. Very goopy. Uh, Well, I think it relates to something up here. I don't know. We're just gonna put it there for now and ascend up. Maybe it's something I gotta bring down. Oh. There's a lot of layers. Fla You're not an enemy. What are you? Just a flamethrower. Oh, it's just an automatic sentry. But who built you? It's a Beemos thing. Wait, is that is that what activates the puzzle? From down there? <laughs> this is a cool find for sure. I love this very vertical island. Finally finding some. Aha. There's gonna be so much cool stuff to check out. I'm so excited. Oh wait, this is something I can break, right? I love this. It's a whole multi-level base. And these sentries attack things automatically. What are you? Are you a light? What happens if we hit it? Oh. Hey. Not sure. What if we put a little steak on you? <laughs> you little pointy head? You're just heavy, aren't you? Let's see if I hit this. Not that. Hmm. Can't pick it. I can pick it up. Maybe this is what I need to bring down? Could be. Oh, no, we're good. Could be a key of sorts. And we hit it? Hmm. i never seen it before. Sometimes there's a shrine that explains what a nearby thing does, though. Maybe without the shrine, this will be harder. Okay. Um. Can't really enter through the bottom, because we're very low. Yeah, we're very low. What if I shot this? Okay. Um... Maybe if you brought down a little, uh, one of those guys, we can see. Do they open it for us? If we make a little bot? It's possible to try out. 
I like feeling the possibilities. The endless ones. <laughs> yeah, wait a second. It's like a plate. What is this? Oh, wait, no, just withdraw. It's a smear shield? Huh. Picture. No. Let's fuse this on one of our shields, maybe. Is that what it's telling us? Thank you. Mirror. Okay. Okay. I think you deserve to die now. I'm too in. Or me. Mirror shield. Yeah, it's a mirror shield. <laughs> the classic Zelda items being brought in their own unique way. I wouldn't stick. Ah, <laughs> there's a little cavern down here. So the point of the mirror is to go on a mirror shield. But. I wonder what putting it on there does. Again, I know space is something I haven't learned yet. So lights, uh, these are lights. Is that important though? Uh, flame. <laughs> it's like a whole radar system. Hey. Can you even use that? No. <laughs> it's too awkward for you, isn't it? It'd be awkward in the meantime. Hmm. We'll use it like this. Or is it more so... Okay, yeah. means of attacking yet. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, what if I try fusing this to something? What will it say? Sentry, maybe? Construct head. Hmm. I feel like it's something I don't know much about. That I will have to learn about. Not just a matter of how. Is there anything on top of this island? Maybe the shrine. Hey. Accented pigeon. Not the dazzle fruit. Yeah. Nice pigeon picks. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, it's peeking its head. Much more crisp. Hi, pigeons. Sorry. My acorn. Could have been yours. Yeah, it seems very quiet up here. Hey. Ah, such a nice picture. Wait, that's even better. <laughs> <gasps> yeah, I like that. It's literally in the grass. It's pretty. That's a good one. I want to get all amazing pictures. I want to make an omelet. More omelets. I know we can do more with it. The more ingredients we can go on another cooking binge. I gotta fill out all the chef's logs. Ratatouille and Zelda. Link's basically a rat. He just kind of <laughs> crawls around tunnels now. He's rat sized. Like four foot two. And yeah. 
in sewers. He's in beautiful sky islands that we love. Oh, thank you. Just what I wanted. Hmm. I feel like the solution here is not there, but there. It's a solution that I need to reach. But I should be able to solve it here. I just can't right now. I can't figure out what the mirror shields do. Shock fruit. Which one is it? A little too close. That's better. <laughs> So when you reflect light, there's not much light. I don't have a light ability. Um, do I recall? That seems like a light target. There is a construct head. A headlight. Hmm. Will it make me use something that I don't have here? There we go. Oops, not that. Is it a light? I don't think it's a light target. I, I couldn't exactly tell what I was doing. It was turning at green a bit. But with the mirror shield. Huh. It's a little light. But again, like, nothing too fancy. There's got to be a reason for the stake, you know? Everything has a purpose here. Hmm. Flamethrower emits some... Wait a second. I've seen this puzzle in Link's Awakening before. No. I was just like the boards from earlier. Maybe you will scope on something for me, not you. What the? Oh, that was my companion. Yeah. What if you build it high enough and it's able to flamethrower that thingy? I'm not sure what the mirror shields are for. I think it was just a directional thing. So what we're gonna do is something like that. Stick this to it. But also, there's a reason why the thing had it on its shield, and that's something I can't figure out quite. So if this doesn't work, we're just gonna, you know, <laughs> also some boards. Yeah, just put this whole mechanism down there. Move that because that's. I get it all to work. <laughs> Wait, what? Light from the outside. Ah, okay. So bring it down, you figure that out. Outside. So just sunshine. It's not like light that I can make. So natural light. That's what mirror shields for. Okay. The mirror shields are back in Zelda. That is amazing. Okay, so we just angle it. That's so cool. It's a mirror switch and appropriately so in the desert too. Because, I don't know, Ocarina of Time, you get the mirror shield desert. So if I built a spike tower, straight up to it, <laughs> have to undo everything with this creation. Oh, I like this. It's limited, it's very awesome. Hmm. 
for an attack. And that is pretty close. <laughs> you maybe can't do this in the night then. Oh, better solution. Let's right, take that off. Just that part off. And then, let's put this at the top in a very funny way. Even like that. Okay, on the elevation, we'll stick it how we need. Like that! Yeah! <laughs> That's so cool! So I wonder what the sentry would have done. Maybe it was just there to be a flamethrower, you know? Maybe we put a mirror on it. Loot in case the sun matters and we can't do it. That was a cool little underside base. <laughs> Sage's well. Okay, it's probably we need four. Or maybe more. I like to upgrade our companions. <laughs> Will it just make it turn freely? Oh, so if you want something that kind of... Patrol spotlight? You can. Okay, how neat. <laughs> I haven't figured out a bet. Also got cold because of elevation. So our pants activated and our shirts. Look at that. <laughs> the power of ice. <laughs> so cool. And I'm just digging the armor for the aesthetics. Turn around. Okay. Next level. Say a good reward. I assume it was not just some weapon, you know. Something expendable. Oh. Where's my time? That's not expendable. Upwards. Cool. I like that. There's like the shrine quest. I'm sure they're more elaborate the further you go, too. Hit some of the easier ones, but now we know about mirrors. I assume the nearby shrines about mirrors too. So that's pretty close. Hmm. Can we gale it? We can. There we go. Only because Tulin. Otherwise, we would need a bird glider for sure. Please. Thank you, Tulin. Tulin's ghost. It seems like we can still go back to the dungeons even after beating. Which wasn't a thing in Breath of the Wild. But I'm pretty sure Tulin said he'll stay there. But I think regardless, your avatar is still... Or his avatar still helps, not himself. A couple more. Let's see what's in this one. Probably mirrors. I feel like desert stuff is more important. <laughs> yep, mirrors. <laughs> Steering stick, finally! I was looking for that. I had a feeling further away from the center. Yep. Sled? With a slick underside that minimizes friction. Probably used to convoy things over grass and sit. Oh, we can build a train. <laughs> a sled train. Okay. And mirrors. Focuses and reflects light. Right, powerful, long distance illumination. That can ward off some monster. Okay, some nighttime stuff, maybe in the... Down more chasms. But we need light itself to reflect. It's good. There's still three we haven't gotten. I assume sleds will be good on shields for better shield surfing stuff. That only makes sense. Let's one play out. Yeah, so <laughs> this little crash. What else could there be? It's all new stuff. Beam. <gasps> Yeah, we found one of those too. Flicking damage at great range. Made like a beam sword, but beam boomerangs, fun stuff. Good throwable. All new stuff. Wonder what the final thing could be. This is so exciting. It's like when you open presents on Christmas and you get a bunch of cool stuff that you never even knew existed. <laughs> or rather, when I was a kid. <laughs> ah, those memories. Wait, that looks like a big rock. Oh, stakes! Yeah, that makes sense. All stuff around here. 
Okay, we can hold stuff in. So it's all fresh stuff. I'm so glad we came here. This opens a lot of possibilities. I'm still hoping for like a big rocket. I don't know if that's a thing, but. Beam emitters. Uh, let's do one more. <laughs> Just draining the whole system. Yay. <laughs> Slides and rockets. Okay. We'll check that all out soon, too. I haven't even seen the sleds in like the overworld yet. So. I'm happy we got that. <laughs> let's finally have steer 18 steering sticks. <laughs> Do we need that much? Yeah, we have them. The stakes seem to be rare, though. Because we can really make some nice platforms and stuff. I can see why they're good. Right, as long as we're killing Zonai stuff, we're getting infinite qualities. Quantities. That is quality. I'll see a mirror shield not working in situations like this. It does reflect the sunlight. Raka Sog. <laughs> so Sog. So common. 35. Okay. You can use the restroom really quick while I do this shrine, or load into it rather. So, uh, give me another two minutes. We'll do this. It probably involves mirrors. And then, yeah, we can explore the whole archipelago and see what's new and good. <laughs> Can't wait to build cars soon. So, again, we'll have, uh, well, let's have Penny and Zoid. The pigs watch this stream. Saddle piggies with nothing on them. So, <laughs> yep, you got their saddles. A reflective device. So, let that play out. Uh, give me like two minutes. So, <laughs> there's the pigs. You know, we'll put Boink in the center. There we go. Bye bye. <laughs>
Hello. Penny, Zoid, and Boink. <laughs> the whole triple stack. Flip around. It's reverse scenario. Thank you, Guardians of the stream. Like, over? <laughs> okay, and we can figure out... I already see the, uh, the mirror shield thingy. I assumed that would be the case, so... Yeah. It's been fun exploring the sky. We did some of that. Hebra today. Um, and yeah, I guess it's like trying to think of like the midterm goals. Like, I just want to check out a bit into Elden because that's where the story progresses. Also, great fairy stuff is there. But then also like Kakariko could be nice because I feel like that's a pretty important location for the run. So, also, yes, I was outside for a second so my transition's activated. So, um, sorry, extended little break. Yeah, dark eyes. But yeah, hope you guys are doing well. We'll always schedule the next stream uh, in the playlist in the description. Don't plan on ending soon, though, of course. Okay. <laughs> we already had the mirror shield ready. What if we didn't? Oh, there's a mirror. I was like, of course there's gotta be one. Love to drab stones in here. Yeah. Just like all the concrete grays and etchings. If it's all like green zone magic well and I just like kinda like the magical style it has. Cause I feel like, you know, associating magic with like just kinda like stone etch stuff is cool. Gives it a bit of mystic mysticism, you know. I will always appreciate this aesthetic. I like the Sheikah stuff, but I think this is my favorite. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. I played the old Zelda games. I know what a mirror shield is. I just love how that's a thing now again. I think Wind Waker was the last time we had a mirror shield. Ooh. Fancy. Let's see. If we do that... Yes. Mm. Wait, no, we can just do this half-ass. That works. Ah, it's taking it. I didn't agree to that. Oh, it's an elevator. I agree to that. Okay, um. Some enemies. You know, I don't think, yeah, we need to be here. Instead, here. Because here... I wonder if this damp... No, not these guys. No. Oh, blinds them, though. That's nice. Because <laughs> the concentrate... I guess not enough, huh? Oh, the sh... Yep. Oh, yeah, it makes him drop his stuff. I'm sorry, I don't think your mirror club's gonna be very good. Okay. Mm. Flame emitter? <laughs> Boomerang. Yeah! Torch it up. <laughs> Always. Love that huge spin. The more mirror shields we can make. Yeah, I gotta see what that's gonna do, though. What happens if we make a mirror club? <laughs> so a little flash of light. I don't like using the zoning devices to swords too much. The shields are cool though. And bows, of course. Although shorter use. <laughs> Spiked iron ball sledge. Uh... Wait, what was the... Oh yeah, because zonite sword is resonating with it. <laughs> Double mirrors. <gasps> it's kind of funny though, but... I don't think it's what we need, personally. We don't need anything. Needs a strong word. Yeah. The light warrior. <laughs> I light that more. See, there was that. I think a thing outside. That's probably for a chest. Yeah, this seems like a chest sort of room. 
And I think we would have to drag the light here. Yes. Um, we also need the light to go up, so. Bye bye. Sure. So we need it on that level, um, which means that we need this on. Oh, <laughs> mega light. So it stands on its own well here. But it's only one block, isn't it? First, yeah, might as well solve the easy puzzle. So we'll do that. Sure. That's the way out. But the hard puzzle is... Figure out elevation. Unless it's not related to this room at all. And it's all about this room's light. It is. Wait. That should put that in a good level. No. Maybe. Okay. Let's see. If the light beam goes up from there, maybe at like an angle. I don't know how well we can do angles, but I'm going to try. It seems like I can kind of rest. No, it's... Wait. Maybe like the other way. Yep, it's made so it's just two way like that. Um, and obviously that's not long enough. It's meant to be a transporter up. So what am I missing? We move the light here. I feel like that's just our first step. It's like, okay. We can't, we can angle it like this, but not up and down. But with the block, we can. So, first that. That's going off there. And then wait. That could be enough for me to react with that. Definitely. Because this stays up for enough time, doesn't it? Getting something. Let's get off this first. Wait. No, this is the final position. I want it there. Seems like a way to do it. Okay, now we're on top. Not exactly where we need to be. Hmm. Oh, I guess we could have just held it. Yeah. Hmm. That seems right. Yeah, okay. So we just hold it in place like that. Yeah, that makes sense. We have a manipulation tool. No recall needed. I, I felt like that was extra. Just... But we got the gist of the puzzle. The block was just, yeah. Yay. Part of the problem solving process. Final chest, it is. First time shrines, love light puzzles. Classic Zelda stuff, like the mirror shield, the flamethrower, you know, we got it all. <laughs> yeah. 
I guess if I were to compile all of it, your mirror shield was like, I mean, I think that started in Link's Awakening, but it's very prominent in Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Wind Waker. Um, then it kind of went away because they stopped doing like special shields like that until Breath of the Wild, and especially thus. Um, let's see. Like likes were a classic Zelda enemy. They were in some of the 2D games, but for 3D stuff, it was only like Ocarina Majora's. And yes, they'll steal your shields and tunics and stuff. I, I do want to see what it drops, though. Sorry. Let's see. Let's see. Pose are back, but they're more so something you collect instead of enemies. But they're still lingering spirits. Refuse to move on. You got to help them. Yeah, so there's a few things. And definitely more. Just I can't think of all of them right now. I saw in one of the cutscenes, uh, I think it was the Blood Moon one, that Redeads are back, but I haven't seen them yet. Probably some scary area. Maybe in the desert. Oh man, the labyrinth. Chasm? Oh, that? That's a whole ring of something. And Ferocious goes down that thing now. Hmm. I still gotta see what's all over here. I assume that island's yep, one of those with the ancient text that I can't do anything with. And that's a launching platform of some sort. Yep. The daylight sun. Or just heavy beams. Nothing underneath. So when I was pinning stuff, uh, I think it was this one and the one next to it. So we got them both that we know about. There's a whole chain over there that we didn't see. It's also the maze. Mazes are pretty cool. Hmm, we got one of the pieces of the armor too. Is that one of those glyphs? It isn't. Or geoglyphs. Hmm. Because, yeah, in the first maze we did with the snow one, we got, uh... What was that? The evil spirits greaves? Yeah. Could be cool to do the mazes. I like the mazes. Might be some tricky stuff, which is why I'm for it. Why are we debating it? We should just head over. <laughs> also, is that platform. I want to see what that is. <laughs> I don't want to leave this one until we completed what I think is all good. So that, and then we can probably launch over. We have good stamina to do so. We can also build a bird glider, too. I think one of the major things we're missing is batteries. We haven't found out where to buy them yet from, like, a dispenser. I'm sure we'll find that. Did that one, that one, uh, don't know what that ball could be, honestly. It's intriguing. And this is even more so. Sometimes those platforms have, like, the really good, like, those orbs or something, or the maps. Not that one. Yeah, this should be enough. Let's the next ride. <laughs> Alright, two Lin. <laughs> Ready to help me out? Ooh, wow. That was nearly perfect. <laughs> Thank ya. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Get lighted. Eh. Uh, <A. laughs> so was a croc, but... Huh? Wait, what? Huh? <laughs> what happened? Let's stand on it for longer. Yeah. Make the next one, make the next one, make the next one. No! Don't make her- Yeah! <laughs> That's good. We still have enough stamina to actually make it. Huh? 
throwing an arrow? It's an arrow target, isn't it? Good thing we had this epic range bow. right above that thingy no nope. a little more higher no nope, we're not high enough use up the entire thing why don't we like that please make it oh that's a puzzle I wasn't expecting uh Let's see, there is just a good bow. Charge up the thing so we get better range. Oh, max. Ah, not even enough. Well, there is a max charge for a full battery, it looks like. How could that not be enough? <laughs> okay, make the shot. No. Hmm. I feel like it's arch. That's more of a. It wants us to combine something. This is a ranged bow, so the stats are going to be different. We hit it. Could it really be related to our... Huh? Okay, um, we have recall. Ultran, obviously not good. Recall something. Fuse, ascend. Target. I guess if we stay within that line, we should be okay. Huh. Why didn't that work before? It like, maybe we fell too much first. Oh, we have to land exactly. Oh, so it's like a path. Not for our arrow. This did seem kind of weird, but. I was like, bullseye target at first? But okay, it's the path that we have to travel to. If we don't make that bullseye, then we fail it. In this case, that can suck because we got to teleport. Interesting. Raka Sog Shrine. Okay, after we do this, we can go to the labyrinth then. We don't need more of those. Oh, but of course we gotta return it. Okay, so no messing up this time. Go. Woo! Yeah. Okay. Not messing this up. Oh, we messed it up. <laughs> Not that soon. Also, getting that sound effect confused with the Korok one. Like, uh, is it activating or not? Okay. Link, you gotta make this perfectly. So maybe just, you need to be in the air, and we are on the ground too long, and that's why it deactivated. Yeah. <laughs> so just can't touch the ground, if that's a thing. Got it. More open air puzzles, I see. So I wonder if we can build a mech. Yeah, we weren't there before. I'm sure it's just a way of getting up, but that's all, that's all divoted. That's sort of like the Maldu King used to be. So many changes. Just 
Pack them under there. Anything good in these rings? I think it just alluding to the next uh, dungeon that we're doing. Because like sometimes like the shape of things or like the architecture defines that. So I don't know. Yeah, it's definitely not here yet. Swimming. <laughs> Link's got that swimming game. Yes. <laughs> I love our sunsets over the desert. The glaring sun. And we're still pretty cold. Yep. We're in the cold zone. Yes. I love this armor activation. Can't wait to see the top part. It might be more like a wizard hat sort of thing or maybe a crown. That could be cool. Either way, this is good for now because cold resistance. There's a lot of rockets. Okay, um... There's all the rockets in the world. How do we use them? Maybe up a lot, but to the side a lot, too. Wait, is a rocket there gonna do something? Oh yeah, because it's hollow. I see. That makes sense. Usually it wouldn't, but... Oh, that, that was good for getting there. Maybe more rockets doesn't help, because that was pretty fast and far. But yes, it with the wind. Sure, why not? Are we actually going to be able to BS this? I think it's possible. Not that I don't know. I don't want to go there. We don't have the ancient text stuff. This is going to be close. Come on, Tulin. You know I need this really bad. Yeah. Please? Yes, actually. I don't care. Eat the stamina food. Just, just a bit. Get the smallest little bit. Uh, do we need extra one now? Just, thank you. Aha, we can go launching. So that's what this is. Just a little launching base to go wherever. Rocket propelled first. Uh-oh, deserts and shambles. There's relic right there. Uh, highlands. Yep. The whole town's covered. But just like a... Huh. Oh, it's the bazaar. Okay. It has a shrine, finally. <laughs> well, the bazaar actually has a warp point. Look, you can see the edges of the desert pretty nicely. Wow. Huh. I think that's a little too tall. But I feel like that would be good. We can get it. It's like I see tall thing. I must climb. Um, we have campfire. Also, is this pond good for anything? Can't drain it. Nothing's even in it. Besides that rock. Yep. I think it's there for the sake of it. Okay. Let's see, most used. Let's drop fire fruit. Um, wood. Ow. Of course. And let's drop. I forgot, this is definitely the best way. Whoa! Yeah. It's just an ordinary lighthouse. Okay. Big egg. Now we know not to travel those. <laughs> Rocket ship. I guess it's trying to say, hey, you can go over there. That's crazy big. But also, that's crazy cool. Or is a shrine? Yep. That's probably the best way to get to there, because 
we try to build our own like rocket like you know vertical ship to go to the uh the snow labyrinth the north one that was also like that and it was very hard so it might just be easier to nab that warp point but even if we nab the warp point then go down do the bottom half then the top because if i don't think the top fully unlocks until you do the bottom at least that's how it was for the other part Oh yeah, I'm very ready for this. One on each side. Oh no, even just one rocket's fine. I mean, we're aware of that now. Okay, lift off. Oh man. Little save. East Gerudo Sky Archipelago. Okay, let's go. Woo! Yep. Now we go wherever we want to. Like here. And the glider will still even work even if the fans don't. <laughs> it will just gradually go down. Which we can't have, can we? Um, so if it goes too down, then we kind of fail it. So let's just quickly go... Materials. Right type. Another large zone I think. The thing that I'm blocking. Yes. <laughs> Yes. That should take us right in. Much easier doing it this way. Because <laughs> they're all connected. So I guess that's all it takes for it to constantly just go at one level. We had an elaborate thing in Deaths where it's like four fans that perfectly balance at like, the bottom. And it's creating like a hover thing. But it would go over like bumps and stuff. Because it was like a hovercraft. That was nice. I think it took up a lot of power because there were four fans. It's still maze right there. Oh yeah, and we're slightly going up, I think. And there's the wings. No. <laughs> okay. Self so, my castle. Look how there's the ancient Zona castles. Anti gravity. This is the gravity is connected to the labyrinths themselves. Saya Moda Shrine. Okay. <laughs> Anti-grav. <laughs> oh, can't wait to explore the labyrinths too. Tulin's Gus. Yes. Sailing rafts and everything. Firefruit. Huh. Very odd it's giving me all this stuff. It's preparing us for the challenge. That's what this is. Diamond. Not even. What? <gasps> oh, this is the cha <laughs> challenge and a surprise. Wait. Don't tell me you're going to go Mario Galaxy on me. Oh. I thought the gravity would have shifted, but... Gravity? Wait. Rock wall? No. I thought the gravity would have shifted there. But it's not like low gravity in here. What a trick. Huh. Maybe I need to come back. Maybe it's telling me I can't finish the shrine yet because we're not ready for it. Maybe it's something I need down below. I can recall something. I can recall this. No. It's way out of my range too. Hmm. Maybe it's telling me I just can't do it right now because I have to do the bottom of the labyrinth first. Which is fine because I just need this warp point. Is it related to the fire? Wait, it gave me a fire fruit. Yep. No. It's always a conversation with the player. Give me a bow. 
It gave me arrows and gave me fire fruit. Not for nothing. Ah, that's cool. <laughs> An elaborated blessing. Oh. Yeah. I want to have my heart elaborated. Pulse out of my body. Woohoo! Wait, that wasn't it though. There was one more fire for to use. Cool. Burn that quickly. Mighty construct bow. Ooh. <laughs> I like that. I like my long range bows. Quick shot. That's an attack up, but that's just better, so I'm just gonna drop that. 24. <laughs> yeah. Still a bit better. It's interesting, just a loose weapon as a reward. We got the chest in there. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think it'll allow us to do the top of the labyrinth. Because the other one worked, uh... Well, we only saw the middle level first. The surface level. <laughs> I mean, the light of blessing grants you the strength you seek. Yeah. Desert area might be last in terms of four dungeons. So it's not like I want to do it right away, but... I'm curious that I'm already here. <laughs> South Lomai Castle. Maybe we can. Oh, yep. It is locked. You set foot in the labyrinth of the sky. Holy vocals. Go to the labyrinth of the land. Deep within its corridors, a dragon rank sleeps, waiting the one who wake up. Okay, so that's what happens if you sequence break the labyrinth. So I guess all three have the pattern surface and sky. So? Go for it. Gravity to normal. And there we go. The smallest of the three labyrinths. Okay. Wolf. What's that? Is that a, is that a tumbleweed? Tumbleweed. Oh, wait, why is it icy? Yep. Get tumbleweeded. <laughs> wait, that's cool. Hmm. Hmm. Tumbleweed, you say? I can make a tumbleweed arrow. Tumblewield shield. Yeah, there's tumbleweeds in this game. <laughs> no, we're extra deserty. Okay. This is the self of my labyrinth. Research log day one. According to Taru, the characters carved into the stone slab read as follows. The dragon rank slumbers in the labyrinth's depths. Wake it and ye shall receive due compensation. Now that Taru's gone off to examine the other runes, I have no choice but to tough out the rest of the research alone. Leave a trail of acorns and nuts. Okay. Was Tower the person who did the research for the Snow Labyrinth, or all same person? I can't read that. Huh. Okay. Well, we also have maps because, uh, out of pure curiosity. Uh, let me load that up really quick. I pulled up my ones for the other ones, or the Snow one, rather. Um, so one second, one second. Um, I'll have that up in a couple seconds. Because <laughs> I made maps for my uh, maze-only run of this game. Because we beat... Well, not this game. Breath of the Wild, sorry. Where we beat all three mazes, cleared them out, and the finale before the first Blood Moon. And I made detailed maps of the three mazes. And it's interesting to see how they compare. I have them mostly memorized, so it's more so just for the fact of me showing. Because uh, they're cool structures. I admire them a lot. Um, there we go. So... You see that that's the maze. Uh, these pathways are the pathways that you can see from the top. 
because if you look here, we can't see the map, but it would usually just be symmetrical, but uh, that shows it. And the green paths are critical paths to get forward, and that's the final. So normally in this maze, you would have to go through here, through that passage, then you go kind of through there, do, 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 all the way around, and then there. This passage is optional, and you get through, through the right wing. Um, but here's where the loot was, which the loot's obviously going to change a lot. So just to show that, because it's kind of cool. Um, yeah, I wonder how the column one will turn up, because that is the biggest of the three. Okay. Yeah, they're definitely <laughs> big expedition here. To beat the last one was very similar to the other, so if like if you know the route in Breath of the Wild mazes, you can figure out the routes here pretty easily. Search log day two. Search every passage. Haven't found anything. Good feeling about this last one. Yes. <laughs> it's a late hour. Get some sleep. Yep, because there's a lot of night monsters in this maze. In the Breath of the Wild version, so let's see if this holds true. It is very similar, so it's all I can think about in that, you know, way. Because it's just remixing Breath of the Wild locations. This game's like a big remix, but also an addition and enough to be a whole new game. But I kind of dig that. There's a lot to love in Breath of the Wild, so why not for this, you know? Oh, sand. Sand needs wind. Mm. You know, just for now. Put that on a Korok frond. We don't have a board, so the leaf will have to do. There, by type. There we go. What if we only have four? We're not getting enough of these. Yes. <laughs> the Gust Bellows. <laughs> Yeah, I want to try out the optional passage first. <laughs> cool ability. Okay, nothing along the sides. Uh, no holes really opened up here. Oh, because he went away, then you get another one. <laughs> now, there's not true of durability, thankfully. It's good to have this Guster. The Rito weapons also work. Stop me, can you? I need to know what's in there. Come on, it's something good, right? Nope, it's just oh, way around. It's okay, we have uh, stuff to restore that. Oh, the light, right. <laughs> well, the ice power. <laughs> but that uses durability, come on. <laughs> it's cool, though. Big battery. You know what? We found a big battery in the last maze in the secret area. And that's, I think this is the equivalent of the most hidden area because it's just a small wing. Which probably the reason is so you can build a mechanism to get to the Sky Island. Yep, because look at that. You had to sacrifice some life to do that. Okay. Yeah, so just like the maze that we showed, uh, that, yeah, the loot was in the same location. Okay. It looks like it. Wait, and the openings too? Um, let's see. Let's find the opening here. Let's, uh, yeah, the opening would have been on the other side. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure that was 
basically the same as the Breath of the Wild one. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay, after the stream, I'm going to put the maze maps and the cooking list in the description of this. Because I've been using it a lot for this playthrough, and it's, it's been awesome. But yay, Breath of the Wild knowledge. <laughs> I love how just so much carries over. I'm playing it again, but elevated in a totally different and remixed way. Just random Mel's clumps. So that was just for that. The big battery. Okay. And then this direction just leads it to the shrine, but there's nothing you can actually do. I'm going to see if that holds true, though. <laughs> there is the chasm down below for the final part. And okay, one of these. <laughs> huh? It's just not an enemy. Yeah, they're not an enemy. Ooh, get them. Go, 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 go. I'm having a hard time out running. Woo. <laughs> well, that makes it easier. We got to bomb dust these guys. Let's hope this works well. Uh, I think there's still a multi-shot bomb nerf. Maybe a bit of one. But it helps with the range. <laughs> save, because I need to save all that. Okay. Does wind affect you? It does. Oh. Okay. But of course, we need a plan of action. My plan? Action. Ah! How do you jump out? What's the proper way to fight them? Is it just bow combat? Or that combat? Ah! Get them! Tulpin! No, they grow back! They grow back! Yep, it's bow combat. That's the point of this. Get him, Tulpin! Get him! You need to hit him! You need him! Please! Please do this! Okay. Now it's Phantom Ganon time. Whoa, he's got a spear this time. We need a better picture of him. Kind of close. Oh! Woo! Okay. <laughs> After this, I know we're fighting and doing this, but you're very cool, and I need to highlight that. See? Just have a big cool factor. That is a compliment, Phantom Ganon. Oh! Jeez. Going up the steps. Ha. <laughs> Nothing against Tumblewheel Shield. <laughs> Woo! It's gonna follow. I'm satisfied with that picture. Okay, he does it late. Most of attacks are very late. Come on. Keep going, yep. Oh, that one's not. Here, we need to get back here. Oh. That one's just cool. Okay. I don't know how to counter this. That's how we do it. That's not how we do it. Let's play out. We get hit, we get hit. Oh. Not favorable. My tumbleweed broke, though. 
Damn it. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> the luck of constantly trying. Save because a good picture. <laughs> Sometimes it's fast, sometimes it's slow. I need to learn how to do this, though. Yep, fairy. Okay. He's just fast with these attacks. Okay. Flurry's good. The charge one can be a bit cumbersome. Okay, having a proper duel again. And He was like extra ready that time. Okay, tu Tulin. <laughs> no, <laughs> I hit it like a frame too late. There we go. Have to counter. Damn. Come on, one more. Oh, no. Flurry. There we go. Let's finish him off, Tolan. <laughs> Goodbye. Ah, oh, that was cool. Gloom Spear. And there we go. <laughs> we did it. Can't really get a full one very well. Interesting. Yeah, I need to learn those timings, and the biggest reason why is because if we just BS it, uh, then we're gonna have a hard time later when we actually need to do stuff. But a Gloom Spear, okay, 40 damage. Uh, the weapon was 41. But it's good to have Gloom stuff. We can take advantage of the Knight stuff, because it pairs both Knights, because we can drain our health with this and then get extra damage with the Knight, which we don't have currently. Okay. Milk out the hearts. Uh, I know we're doing a shrine soon, so. Demon King Bow. Don't need one. That just does more damage to more hearts you have, which we don't have a lot. So yeah, it seems like every maze has a Phantom Ganon. And, uh, yeah, this bottom part. It was in the center of the last one. And he's in the center of this one. Oh yeah, now let's see the rest of the maze. There's three more wings, each pretty fast, though. So. <laughs> the shield has just took a beating, but it, it lived so well. Your name's Tolan, right? Tulin. Tulin sounds better. You're Tulin. <laughs> oh. Okay, more slots soon will be awesome. <laughs> Maybe we don't need a mirror sword, though. I'm kinda picking up random stuff because it's fun. Just while we're still in the desert area, could be useful. I just don't know, like quick blinds maybe? Okay, that's how you get to the next wing of the dungeon. Just according to this, yep. That's like that green big area on the left. Good. This is gated off. There was a chest here. It is quite literally the same maze from Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Just with sand in it. Okay. You know what? I was just talking about that mirror club, but really, I give you too much credit in mirror club. We'll find something to stick it to. Yeah, sunlight will fix that. Something really vertical. Not, not really. Huh. 
of the running of the maze. Okay. Did we check out everything? It was... I just want to make sure. Yep, because that... Okay. That's the best way to get in this wing. We see by that. Yeah, so it's... That wing's just for that one chest. So in order to get to the other parts, you will have to go down. Because really the only difference about this maze is, yeah, the gloom everywhere. Got some sand for the hell of it. <laughs> Make sure to bring more leaf stuff in next time. Yep, okay. So you, right at the start, you just go all the way to the end. And that takes you to the next wing, and then there's a single pass to get to the final wing. But I guess this time they're just leaning you through it with acorns. And this... There was a weapon here, or a bow. And... They literally put a bow in the same location they put a Gerudo bow. <laughs> Jeez. I'm playing the maze again. <laughs> hmm, I think I like this one better. No, it's actually weaker. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be the same, just pulling a fun. Is that day three? No matter how far I go, which way I turn, everything looks the same. It does have the same top pattern, so just with different divots. All covered in energy sap and gloom. Someone managed to swallow my overwhelming desire to run home. We'll attempt to spend the night here. I have enough acorns. Well, thank you for the acorns. Never expected this to be a place to stock up on so many. And this takes you to the side area, yep. And the chest is still there, okay. Now the rest of the maze areas are different. It's just this bottom portion, mind you. There we go. Mighty Zonite Longsword. Longswords could be cool. Yeah, I kind of dig the whole longsword thing. Or I like my one-handed. So, I don't know. What do we drop? These weapons just have good utility. We just made that, so I'm not going to. Um, I guess... Yeah, that's just not as good of stuff. It's a, it's a shock sword, though. We need more fire things. I, I don't know. We just have a lot of good stuff and not much to do with it. Um, yeah, we got to keep this for, like, our utility slot. That we've had for a while. And yes, I'm keeping the bomb barrel club. <laughs> oh well. Replace. Okay, was that it? Um, yeah. According to that. I know the sword's in there, but it was a bow. Uh, in the bottom left quadrant. Oh, it was like shock fruit and stuff, so. Little extra things. Like, it's slightly more flourished. And that increases uh, electricity damage. Yeah. Attack power and thunderstorms. Maybe the up thunderstorms, because uh, thunderstorms are pretty rare, usually. Uh, but I did see that giant thundercloud. I think it was above the jungle. Travel. Yep, final wing. See, down this hallway. There should be something in the sand pit. Used to be a malice pit. Yep. Long sword. It was a Gerudo Claymore in Breath of the Wild. Long Zonite long sword. Uh yeah, mighty's better though, so. Hmm. It's fine. And this is the final area. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's read the thingy first. Research log. Can't believe I'm writing this, but standing in front of ancient Zone ruins. Yes. Makes the terror of uncertainty of getting here completely worth it. Report back to people who might. Interesting other logs. I wonder if we could find the person talking about them. Probably for some quest too. 
get some extra goodie for finding that person and telling them about your discoveries, you know? So there's a little bit of extra. You know, it's neat. It's like... <laughs> okay, I got the chest. Oh, the strong zonite shield. Um... Better with Zone devices. I don't know if I want to... If I need a mirror shield, I feel like I'll just get a new one. Uh, minecart shield's fun, you know? So it's like... Do I? I guess so, I do. Because it could make a good sled, honestly. Which might be better than a mirror shield. But a mirror shield's cool. Um, these are all just very cool shields. Energy consumption down. I know that's fresh, but... I want to stop putting Zone flamethrowers on non zone stuff because then just use up more battery and whatnot so yeah i'll have that and maybe i'll make a sled out of it i'm sorry perfectly fine thing yeah everything's so expendable Was that it? Um, yep. The weapon in the chest. So, all the same places. I don't know how that compared to the North Little May one. I felt like that one was a bit different. Just by a little bit. Maybe, you know, I didn't fully explore it actually, because I just knew where that exit was. But it'll probably be the same thing. So. Gotcha. Moat Susis. Let's do this first so we can get the, uh, yeah, activation of the upper one, then the shrine, and then, yes. We've conquered the labyrinth of the land. I, ruler of boars, have unlocked the door. Yep, because ruler of the owls was the first one. Like wisdom. I like that. So owls north, boars this one for power. And then courage would be the labyrinth island. Okay, probably a blessing of sorts. 31 shrines done. It's gonna be a normal blessing now. Naru's blessing. <laughs> nice. Diamond. Oh, large zone I charges, it loves giving those. So I guess just to warp, uh, because everything up there should be unlocked. Hmm. 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 Yeah? Should be. And we have... Yep. <laughs> Unit blessing. Of course we got all that. It did say that, right? I'm just not breathing past it too fast. Okay. No, that's done. I guess there are no other enemies. There used to be stall enemies, but there's not, so. I didn't see any in the snow area, but then again, I didn't go too far. Yeah. I feel like a lot of a Tears of Kingdom, like, it could be someone's first, like, Breath of the Wild era Zelda game, like the open air ones. Because uh, it's like, it does feed a lot into that, I guess. You'll experience a lot more content diversity if you're doing Tears of the Kingdom first. But as long as you can kind of follow the lore, it, it could be interesting. Because this just really, really, really makes me think, like, what if this is someone's first Zelda game? It's so, like the mazes are different, but, you know, it's like, it'll be more fresh if it was your first. But this is totally different, and I like this. Set photo of my labyrinth of the sky. Offer a test of wisdom. Wait. Wisdom. Oh, they're all tests of wisdom. Okay, they said that in the last one, and it was the, like, the owl sage, or being, or protector. And this one said boar, so I assume it was going to be power. But I guess not. Hmm. 
Okay, it's another wind tunnel. Yeah. There's definitely a lot of copy and paste type content in this game. But it's cool seeing this. Okay. So there's a similar layout I see. But this connects to the bottom. Adventure log. Okay. Activate four terminals. Yes. Oh, we got a map of them too. Right. But yeah, with this, the locations are different. So, although the pattern is going to be the same for these two labyrinths and assumably the third, it's really cool seeing this perspective. And the first time it really wowed me. So, but still, I love this. Like, okay. Ha. Yep. You go low and then jump high. Let that gravity do the work, like a spring. <laughs> Makes the maze running a lot easier once you know the layouts. Wow. It's interesting, when you play Breath of the Wild, it's, hmm, what's all here? What can I do? In this game, it's like, what's changed? And seeing how just like the elevate concepts, like even like the labyrinths in this way, it's really interesting. Yeah, so it's a different thought process. Instead of what's all here, it's more so what's changed. And yeah, with an evolving world, it's neat to see how things change and evolve. So I kind of like that theme of Tears. And with seeing how Zelda's love for discovery sparked a whole research team and you know, investigation for the Zonai, which, you know, eventually led to all this Zonai stuff merging with the current world. And, like, even how people are recovering from the calamity and, you know, contrast to this. It's all really unique. We're fine. Check out the backsides first. Hmm. Okay, of course there's a little something. How could there not be? Oh, <laughs> low gravity dive. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's like I'm just trying to do it safely and then it took too much longer. Cool shield, but you know, I guess we'll just swap with that. <laughs> that is better. Who knows? Lights start floating up. <laughs> okay, so we got that side. I assume it was just for that one terminal, and the rest it's one per wing. Do a high bounce. Yep, lower you go, higher you bounce. Do it here. Right under, and then spring. <laughs> Yo. That's cool. Okay, now let's experiment with this. Do you still get into the other wing through this way? Yes, you do. It has a very clear pattern, so the more you pay attention to the blow one, you can figure out this more. Repetition cells. It's key. Gotcha. Yeah. This one's the most easiest pattern base. The the diamond one's also that way too, but I can't wait for the Akala one. I think that's just gonna be the most interesting because it's just two different sides of back, but the way everything flows is purely just random and uh, the patterns are really made up as they go. That's what we're just at, right? Just fooling myself, yes, okay. <laughs> Created a wind tunnel on that chest. Where are we bullying that's Tulpin? Tupin. 
No. Tulpin? Tulin. <laughs> I, I know your name. Of course I do. Okay. Now let's go to the back. It like lines up to what's down there. Very intriguing. Side area. <laughs> okay, now third wing. See, it's following that linear flow. Chest in oh. here. Mighty Zodiac Longsword. Just we have all that stuff, you know. Maybe we don't need the fan anymore, though. I feel like there's just gonna be more dust down after this part. So we really do have to skip all this, don't we? Right there. Yes. Oh, this way. Nope. <laughs> Come on top of the lights. Uh. Yeah, that works. <laughs> okay. In there. Was there also just a stray weapon somewhere? I don't know. That's where the chest was. No, it doesn't look like it. We can just go to the end. And that compartment. There's like two of the, uh, yeah. Per wing, there's two of the center things. One of them typically has a chest, one of them typically has the terminal. So that's different from the loot from that one. And then the final tunnel. Yes. Let's see, is the weapon still there? Maybe. And that's the final area. Let's try to find the terminal. Uh, just in this one, okay. Terminal and the other one. So that's how it's kind of patterned. Very symmetrical, this one, but figuring out the pattern is a cool part, too. Zonite bow, yes. Uh, I'm sure this is more than damaged, because we've been constantly using just that one. But I love that. It's like this game's ancient bow. The range keeps increasing the longer you charge it. it uses battery. I've always dug that concept. Yet. <laughs> oh, the shrine's at the top. Okay. So let's see what's in that loot room in the center then. I see a chest right there too. Right in the middle of the uh, the dual surfing thing. I forgot what it's called. I know it's like a metaphor for like constantly going. Like a cycle that never ends. Which, yeah, it's like this. The cycle of Ganondorf never ends with this game. Hmm. What the? Huh? Oh my god, my eyes just did like a trip. <laughs> So, ooh, birds. Hello, guys. Cloud seagulls. And there's that island over there. Fancy. Okay, let's see what this is first. Yay. This is what typically is through the center. 
Oh, she can get there straight away this time, right? Hmm. Yeah, I guess it's just open. Okay, makes sense. Ooh. Yeah. Chest. Uh, large zone core. Big battery. Okay, let's give you another. Nice. Exactly what I wanted to do. Oh. Blue right on there. Maybe just lined it there. Who knows? We now have 25 chicken. That's the important part. Big chicken bombs. You got this. You got this. No? Okay. Yeah, you can't climb it. Because that would suck if you keep getting stuck in the walls. So I'm glad they made it unclimbable for that reason. You've traveled this maze. Mark well my words. Got it. I've pulled apart the balls in the labyrinth on the land. Okay. Now we have the basement. So they're all very formula to that, but I, I dig it. Just, it's very scenic. Although not much surprise when you already know the labyrinth. So, you know, if you didn't play Breath of the Wild or didn't really understand the labyrinths or figure them out without just kind of, you know, hoping and praying. Well, these would be more of a puzzle to figure out, but now just kind of like more appreciation. Like, okay, I figured it out before. It wasn't even in this game, but the past game. So it's like a connected Zelda universe. But this part makes it all worth it. Dive down. Woohoo. And it forms a ring. Out of the gravity layer. Love this. And straight down. Oh. Yep, you gotta make it. Uh -huh. Wait, Starf? Did, is that supposed to fall with me? What? Fell from the sky. Gem-like quality makes it highly valuable. It's a power to light up its environment. That's cool. Okay, looks like a construct. Love that change. Self low my depths labyrinth. Okay. <laughs> I got a first star fragment in the playthrough. Everything's grayscale. I'm almost in black and white. Hmm. You know what? Just a little top light. Why not? There we go. Oh, there's only two different ways this time. And I pick you. No more anti-grav. Blue. You know, that's how we get to the depths over here. Which is cool. Nice. Some pose and whatnot. But first, I am going to fight the boss. Or, <laughs> lied. This is cool, little basement. We don't need this, though. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Giving us infinite quantities of loot. <laughs> okay, fight fight the boss and then we'll get there. Because I, I saw that construct machine. Hmm. Yeah. With the weak modifiers, quote unquote. And the swallow bow will change that to a mighty zone eye. That's all we're finding. tower. Yep, a three. <laughs> uh, wrong one. Get him that way. And then that way. Ow. So he got hit to that. Yep, and they, they move. Of course. Whoa. Break them apart more and more. Take it out. I know I'm still grabbing it. Yep. That's all I had to do. No attack up needed. Attack up by attacking a lot. Keep getting them. Ooh. 
him down a third right away. Ready to the cube phase. But this one's more dangerous by a lot. Take it out. Yes. <laughs> then another spin with our ice powers. We got this. Eight, nine. Ten. It's almost unfair. <laughs> what just trivial that is. And then just the same thing. Well, I definitely. I was pressing A like crazy. It just doesn't come up right away. There we go. Shatter. Ow. More so shattered than me. I don't care. Just break it. We have a million weapons anyways. Six, seven, eight. Bye-bye. Okay. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> a little too easy. <laughs> and it still isn't broken after that. You mean weapons so durable? <laughs> Uh, I didn't even need to drop it, but let's okay, fuse uh, with the mighty Lonic. 57 damage, okay. <laughs> this is probably one of the best ones we can create, I would say. Zonite's powered. <laughs> it's got the triple in there. Oh. We didn't get the longsword. I mean, we keep getting them, but I didn't. Do that. No. It's awkward. <laughs> Please get it. Uh, there we go. For some reason, just really struggling. There we go. Hmm. What other sorts of parts? Well, um, just out of curiosity, what don't we have? Mighty Zonite Spear. We keep getting them, we might as well take pictures of them. So, we have that. Do we have, let's see, two handed smash. Ooh. Cool. Just the base weapons. We have that, obviously. Um, we have Knight's Claymore. Don't have Stall Ox Horn, though. <laughs> it's good for filling it out. <laughs> I like the heads, though. Like, ah. <laughs> yes. Cool. <laughs> Let's finish. <sighs> you have travel, traverse this labyrinth of the depths. I can't wait to see the rest of this armor, though. It's like stealth buff. I don't think it's just Phantom Ganon. This trial is a test of your talents. And we're coming out, you have shown yourself to be strong of body, skill, and mind. My name is the ruler of boars. It's still a trial of wisdom. They're all trials of wisdom. Because mazes, I guess. You gotta learn. Armor wreathed in otherworldly evil, hidden away since days of old. <laughs> and there go the lights. Oh, because the thing opened, so it destroyed my bright bloom seed. Thank you. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. Good. All right? Okay. <laughs> I want a better treasure chest picture. Because the one we can't have right now is not super good. Yeah. That's cool. It's like in the depths. Um, but, yeah. So we got the Evil Spirit Greaves. Okay. Evil Spirit Helmet, probably. It's just the Phantom Ganon armor? Some people believe this Yuri Mask is... Inspirited by a malevolent entity. It's a rather rare find. Yeah, just rename Phantom Ganon Armor. 
Wait. But you find Phantom Ganon in the mazes. You fight him in each maze. At least the two that we did. He's probably renamed Evil Spirits because there already is Phantom Ganon who looks different in this game. So the final piece is for the other. Um, it used to have a set bonus of Dragon Bone Up. But I feel like there's a different meaning for this armor in the game. Like, if we're going to do all this labyrinth, this cool new stuff for a DLC armor from Breath of the Wild, I feel like we get something really cool for doing all three. And it's not just the base, like, Dragon Bone disguise thing. So I really want to see where it's going with this. Because it's like, it's not a very exclusive reward, you know? But I'm curious. We now have some stealth stuff. Look silly without the shirt, so. Uh, no more frozen look. There. That's actually kind of raw. <laughs> With the tattoos. Demon tattoos. Hell yes. Okay. Well. Yeah. I can build stuff now, can I? And yeah, we can check out what's outside. That seems like the main exit. But I don't want to be there quite yet. <laughs> Secret, okay. This isn't something that would have been in the base maze. There's something like this in the Heber maze, though. Oh. Wait, this is cool. Yeah, not a lot of climbing stuff in this one. Nice. Very interesting. Please not a weapon, please not a weapon, please not a weapon. Damn it. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Thank you, but we have s kind of a lot. Just, yeah, I, I guess. Sorry. I guess I can fight that, that thing in the middle, but you only need one weapon to do it. I feel like this would be very balanced if this game had a master mode and, uh, like, there's a higher tier for everything. But now as it seems, like, there's just so much weapons and so much loot and so much durability with everything. That it's like... Yeah. Okay. There's gonna be weapons in every corner that I can't pick up. Yeah, I, I can't do that, I'm sorry. Hmm. I'll take the pose. They're very nice. But you never know why you need them. And this is going to have a similar thing. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Paying attention to those patterns. Hmm. That's good. I guess the L have them then. It's a very cool bow, though. I feel like we're just going to stock up on them, because... I don't know. We have the spots. <laughs> um, we still have one we can use. Yeah, we have four of the sniper bows. That one's damaged, so we might swap that in time, because I don't know how damaged it is. Like, do we need that many? I, I don't think so. But it's nice to have that extra range. We'll say that was helpful. How about that? Jump. 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 And jump. Okay, so it's just for that, but still pose. <laughs> more of those we get, we can buy more things down there. So I wonder what these X's signify, because... I, I paid 10 pose to a collector to, for another bargainer statue, so they put that on my map. But will these be other statues or what? I don't know. Bargainer statue is what you exchange pose for. That one's just highlighting points of interest, so... I guess we'll see. This way. 
We got that one, didn't we? We did. So it's the, the final one. <laughs> Perfect. All that extra speed that we need. 500 arrows again. We're, we're finally getting lower. Right, charge. It's like if you don't use your arrows for all just the little dispersal things, you're just gonna have so many. Yeah, again, we don't need that, sorry. Um, but I guess since we're not down here anymore... Yeah, I assume to be more sand, but there doesn't seem to be any more sand, so... Sorry. Is this something I can... Oh, we can... It's for a better picture. Yeah, bye-bye. Now let's get whatever's here. Even just some pose or something. Um, not much. By that I mean nothing, but... Makes sense for one to have nothing. Also, I know there's a final ability. I can't wait to see what that is. Clearly, it's not one that you need to do a lot of things. But it's probably tied to something main story. Maybe Kakariko. Some other quest line, you know? Maybe you remember after like a memory or something. Who knows? I see a lighthouse. That was a good first objective. <laughs> now we have all this OP crap. I didn't ask for it, but thank you for giving. Little frocks. <laughs> uh, I know this weapon gets better when you're lower health, but I don't know. OP weapons against weekends. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Recently use up what I think is damaged. I think you're damaged. Ow. You're damaged. Okay. The last labyrinth, there was a lighthouse on top of it. It's cool if there's like another way in the depth, so. Nope, I don't think we did that right. Nope, it's getting caught in that tree. Let's go to the top and then pin it. But that lighthouse is by a spot. We can see what the spots are. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> Quickest way I know how to build a campfire. That, and then fire fruit. We hit it because we have infinite arrows. And then we throw in this. I like I can throw or drop or do whatever. High up drafts. Hello. Nope, no lighthouse in this one. But. Oh, wait, there was. I guess it's both sided, yep. I'm so glad we checked. There's another lighthouse. The more the merrier. Because some of them have like a big area effect. Some of them it's small. But I feel like maybe they're all small, but the final one you get in the cluster increases the range a lot. So the point is to get different ones and then they form a big light. So I think that's what we're doing. It might be somewhat small. Ah. Okay, so that was the back. So it was trying to be hidden. Trying. That and then Sky Shroom. Nice little quarters. Oh yeah, we're at the bottom, that makes sense. South of my depths labyrinth. That's a platform building stuff, but they're pretty easy to see on the map, so maybe I don't need to pin them. Because I used to. But like yeah, you can see where that stuff is, kind of. Hmm. Let's see, anything close to an X? I guess these are. But I kind of want to build a glider. Man, it's really wanting me to. Or rather, there's a better glider station over there. 
And look at that, a weapon. I love weapons I can't pick up, but it's cool that you can find these down here. All in the hands of the soldiers. <laughs> what is that? A dragon? That's Farosh. What is Farosh doing down here? That's intriguing. What? Well, I don't know if that's too far. I feel like doing the light things right now is more important so I can actually see what I'm doing. Also, wait, a statue. I feel like I should be taking a picture of these. Because hmm. I did take it for a research thing previously. If we have it now, the better. The logs. I guess there's quite a few, so maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Am I dealing with the gap, though? I think I might be. Possibly. Very far gap, it looks like. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Oh, lighthouse is first. And there's steering wheel for this, finally. Is this a sled? Cart. No, it's not a sled. It's a cart. That's a sled, though, isn't it? We'll, we'll say so. That might be, yeah. Uh... Oh, that's a sled. It's a cart. Okay. Um. I kind of wanted to make a. Let's put our sled shield or a cart shield. Probably a sled one, so let's try this one out first. <laughs> Ride the rails. It's kind of like the minecart, just not a minecart. I gotcha. Oh, it's not taking too much durability. I guess a little bit because like surfing. Slim, on the other hand. Yeah, I'm sure it's just very sleek, and I think I like that. <laughs> That's cool. Probably add sleekness because it felt that way. I think the wheels are kind of the same. Minecart shield. Hmm. Anyways. Something like that. Go to that next lighthouse, you know? Make it easy on ourselves. To just start off. Oh. That would be hard on ourselves. <laughs> That's the wrong way. Nope. Should have followed other. Yep. There we go. So we have that. Uh, give a little tug to make sure that's all centered. I think if we have this on there, it'll control it the way we want. But no, because we need to use our own weight, don't we? Unless that actually shifts it the way we need to. I'm just not confident it will. We could try though, because maybe it acts as its own controller. Because, like, yeah, the foot switch is still there. Fans do not control. Just kind of hoping they would. What if we did like that? Um, so maybe the positioning, here, let's do a lift off landing first and then we'll see, you know?
Why is it? Oh, that's a backwards. I see it now. <laughs> it's shooting at. Thanks. Left? Oh, it does work. Oh, it does work that way. <laughs> that makes me hella glad. Um, this is awesome. Okay. I can control it much more controlled now. <laughs> Okay, 14, down to 13. <laughs> a little bit of a mild headlight. Wow, this is an entire plane. I am controlling a plane in Zelda. What? And there's a base up there. Okay, pull up, you got this, Link. Ah! Well, it got us there. So thank you for that. Let's start with a... Uh... Wait, I wonder... Can we... No, can we? Will this work? Oh, it will work. That's cool. That's really awesome. That's where we came from. Maybe more fans could do more, but we don't have more fans. We could always start a rocket propel to start this thing. That's something I didn't even think of. And wait, little little camp. It's more. It's not as many monsters. It's more like human habitats. So there could be more Yiga down here. Cause I saw like one Yiga base. Working with Koga, you know. Yep. That ain't Ega. I don't know what is. The gloom gotcha. Oh, researcher, no. I am here to help. Covered in gloom and need a sundaline. Oh. We haven't found many people down here yet. Real lifesaver. Step right into it. Mm. Yes. <laughs> or, you know, the lighthouses are good too. Oh. Neither there nor there. Oh, wait. Okay, it's not just tribal researchers. Is it a wink lever? <laughs> Luckily, you're pathetic. Oh, got stopped. I was gonna flurry that. Oh, <laughs> go! Well, thank you, anyways, Tulpin. Oh, it's an eightfold blade. Got that one. It is a good stealth strike weapon, so. <laughs> Do we still need this? Not really. But also, we don't need the two gloom weapons, so it's like... Eh. <laughs> Everything's good in its own way. Um, Hell, that's good. I just want some fun weapons, you know? But a stealth strike one is good. For hitty weapons, though, I know we're low on this weapon. Like, we've been using it forever. <laughs> so we're just going to retire you. That's what allowed us to defeat our first... Uh, What's it called, though? Gliak. <laughs> yeah, I just was sledding. You know, before we retire, though, use a, be a box walker for a moment. That was worth it. Very much so. Okay, you did very well. <laughs> Thank you. Stealth strike weapon could be awesome, though. It does increase stealth strike damage, and it's fresh, so. There's tons of Higa bases, wow. We need those schematics somehow. And monster stuff I'm sure will hit. I didn't even know this stuff existed in the game. It's so cool. Really quick though, another restroom break. Um, so let me do that really quick. But yeah. Hope you guys are having fun with tears. Uh, it's quiet here. Can I play some music? Oh, wait. I, I'm pulling my headset. I'm like, wait, why is there no sound? That doesn't make sense. Also, that's a very interesting base. It is Ego. I think we have to fly to it. I like this a lot. <laughs> so let's save right there. I'm going to use the restroom. And let this play out. Hopefully, I don't die. <laughs> 
Give me like two-ish minutes. So, restroom break. Yeah, stream break. <laughs> and the stream watcher will be mm, Miggy, the mud piggy, and boink. Whoop. Okay. Give me a couple minutes. Bye bye. No! Get in there. The weight was off centered. There we go. Bye bye. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> Let's build a little funny. Well, we got this craft, but we get it airborne with a rocket. That'll be better. <laughs> okay. Let's plug back in. Somewhere here. <laughs> I see that mob just still fighting someone between my horns. So don't know why, but you are. <laughs> do, do you hear that? Oh! Oh my god! Uh, uh, uh. Ow, the spikes! Why that? Climb it, you stupid moron! Okay. What's gonna have to happen? Not that. One of the Zonite bows, the damaged one. Looks like we came back in time. Why are the dragons here, you know? Mm. Not even a body shot. Uh, that is so far. Uh. He's going out of the chasm. They go in the ca in and out of the chasms. Come on, go, 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 go! Come on! Ah, uh, now they got shot. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> what's best for this flame emitter boomerang? Doesn't work good when yeah. Using the battery weapon when I have no battery. <laughs> Sorry, dragon. <laughs> Yay to you. Don't... I do need a hammer for that, don't I? And we don't have hammers. <laughs> Next stop, right? An axe won't do crap. <laughs> okay, I'll let you live this time, Peplet. So we are very close to the lighthouse. I just now realized. So we're gonna go to that lighthouse. 
Make it a little bright. Although we do have, yeah, this bright bloom seed. This is the ultimate area for vehicles. Even more so than the sky. There's more room to launch off. And you. Perfect. <laughs> can rig it around all in one session. Death can be extra sucky for that reason. Because why would I want to lose my machine? Marcus. There we go. How does this connect? Oh, pretty decently sized. There's one kind of far away though, so. Yay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, mushroom, sky shroom. Okay, now take my cart. <laughs> like, did it despawn? Good. It didn't. Preparing for the worst, always. Yeah, it's like, I want to do the light root stuff first. Uh, cause yeah, having this bright will be nice. Even more so than... Like, Yiga base can come second. But if it's bright, then... It's actually nice. Tons of Yiga bases. Kind of a fun time flying past them. But yeah, for now. Singular rocket. Uh, please. <laughs> hmm. I just want more battery power in this game. Woohoo! Yes! Go rocket! What is this? Is that the frocks? It is frocks! Oh boy. Uh oh. Well, I guess we fight. That did a ton of damage. Um. Interesting, that's what they are. Who's a little sleepy boy? <laughs> being. Hi. <laughs> it's kind of a cool shot. <laughs> That's it, though. Okay. Um, what are we going with? Weakest, 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 weakest. Flux core polarizer, too. No? Oh, what? Big armor. A lot of armor. Oh. oh man. Okay. Yep. It's a running game. It's like a Dodongo kinda. The gems. Yep. Gotta get the gems. Nice. Oh, that's. Yeah, the weak points. Th thank you. Th thank you. Uh, whatever, whatever that was supposed to do. <laughs> Tulin, you're an interesting guy. Oh, what am I getting hit by? <laughs> what is that? Uh. Second. Nope. Got hit off funnily there. Interesting. Um, here. Bomb. Yeah, take a bomb. Oh, that's not what you wanted. Okay, uh, we can climb up him though. Please, let's go. <laughs> no, not that. Ores. We got a mining operation here. Nice. Not bad. <laughs> Pretty interesting fight. <laughs> Frox Fang. Okay, <laughs> Those, that's the parent. Okay. Yes, yeah, so, so that's the weak point of itself. Got the fingernails. Yeah. Right, hit spongy. So nice. 
Because it's pulverizer on it. Uh, and we'll heal too. Yeah, that was a neat fight. <laughs> Just trying to suck me in like, no. Please, I can't do that. Mm. Alright, you know what? Veggie rice balls always come in handy. Oh, we have all these extra hearts, though. That... Yeah. That's why I like having low hearts. So just one meal does it, too. Can't wait to spend the Zonite somewhere. I need to find, like, I don't know, some sort of Zonite base. That was my goal today with all the sky exploration, but I didn't find that. Maybe that's what the points of interest are for. So... to get over but we're making progress that way it's such a neat fight I'm just like man big froggy uh oh let's go ah get off rocket there we go that's just enough. That's a big enemy camp. What's that thing? Uh oh. Turn that way, please. You can still control. Oh, yeah, because it's still a glider. Okay. And this is where we depart. <laughs> Closing into the next lighthouse. Cave keys. <laughs> You got him? Tulpin? Tulpin, Tulpin, Tulpin. Tulin. <laughs> Where's the pea coming from? Okay. So we can make homing arrows of fire? Or fast arrows of fire? Seems like that's the goal. Cool. <laughs> Turn. Tulin. What is this? Oh, it's another soldier thing. What weapon? Sol Soldier's Claymore. Ooh. What sort of modifier does that have? Model bud. It's not a modifier. Critical it. No stamina for charge attacks. Sorry. Not needed. Yeah, it's good for charge attacks, but critical it does not affect charge attacks, so. I still much I really like the human weapons. Like it's cool fusing the stuff, but it seems like there's just one main combination. Like, oh, put it on a horn. Or if you know, if you do the the guardian guys use this tri weapon. Or in my case a dual one. <laughs> that is high up. <laughs> You're too high up. Okay, let's do this Yiga base. There's like some schematics, maybe eh? turn them into the Sheikah. Oh, rather, this first thing. <laughs> ah, that was a little late. We're gonna get rocked. Oh, still got some of the fire fruit. Yay! Yeah, <laughs> too lin. <laughs> That's finally almost dead. Yes. <laughs> Oh, my weapons. I actually can use other things. <laughs> oh. Rock hammer. It's on a sharp stick. These are the large pose. Rewards for climbing up high. You know. If you make a powerful enough one-handed hammer, uh, we can break things in one hit. Cool. Uh, you need to be a bit brighter. So I'm trying to use up these Zonite bows because I have three others, so it's like, I don't need four of them. Ooh, rock stuff. Yes, don't mind me. Um, do any of this stuff, are they good with rock? I'm not sure. 
Maybe the Smasher is good for Rock. Bomb will be good. But I guess we... Only one way of finding out. Oh. Not. <laughs> Not very good. <laughs> It'll do a lot of damage, though. Yay to that. Yeah, I think anything with Smasher in the title does... There we go, go like that. I wonder if I can blow these guys off. Can I? No. We need to call him first. They do have the rock armor, so... Like that. Tulin? Like that. Uh, ooh, arrows are like not good against that. It's busting up gradually. Finally, I'm on the big part of it. Let's get him. Get pulverized. One hit? What are you black goblin? Let him do the work, I guess. Maybe it has something to do with the finishing. Or maybe it was a red bacoblin in there. Yeah, burn. Thank you. <laughs> we'll watch that unadmirable display. Oh, bye bye. Sundalion. Uh-oh. <laughs> Keeping all those pictures because they're cool. Mm. The one with the eyes open was nice. Um, yeah, there's a lot of ones I don't actually need to keep, but I'm keeping because they kind of feel cool. They remind me of something fun, so it's like, might as well. All sorts of reasons. I'll go through them more thoroughly later, though. But for now, that frees up some. <laughs> Maybe we should start specializing in a certain place up. I'm only picking up stuff that I really like for something. And then it's a few experimental. I just I keep running into these ones. So it's like, might as well take them. I'm literally just using this as a mining weapon because I'm like, we have so many weapons. This amazing pulverizer. Rock hammer. Oh. Yeah, you can take that. Okay, um, <laughs> pulverizer again. And get the ores. Two for one combo. Uh, silent. Oh, you broke the ore for me. Should let you do the work next time. Okay. <laughs> well, I didn't mean you, Tulin. There we go. <laughs> Just an undershot. <laughs> Attack the legs. Okay. Oh, pretty good. That's a piece of zone I forgot earlier. <laughs> Gonna be at 600 now, I'm just like... Oh man. <laughs> So where was my ship? It was in like a flatter field, wasn't it? Oh, and whatever bomb set off set all these things off. Oh. <laughs> Not that bomb. It's nice to have that. It's so the depths, yeah, the hazy sky is so weird. But cool. I like this area. It's like a similar sort of style to like you know, the other depths, like in Hebra and uh, Central. But it's the type of content's a lot different. It's gonna be a lot of Yiga stuff, uh, requires more ev elevation, making ships. So it switches it up a lot. Decent sized Yiga camp. It's also a lighthouse. That is. That's even further out, okay. <laughs> 
good to always nab those. At least try to figure out where they'll be. And I can't find my ship. My ship had a glowing seat on it. And now I think my ship is just gone. Unless it's there. Mm. I think it was there, wasn't it? Uh, no, it, it's gone. I went too far from it, despawned, I think. Unless the light just went out? I don't know why it would have, but... Oh, well, maybe a Yiga vehicle will have to help it come in clutch. Because we do have them. Oh, yeah, my stealth, that's right. Level 2 stealth buff. I forgot I was wearing now, just more so wearing for the style. But yes, an effect comes with the style. Ooh, what is that? An electric door. Not a problem. <laughs> Unelectrify. What are you gonna try to do? These guys did not trick Driver Zed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is like an arena? <laughs> it seems like an arena of sorts. Nothing going on, though. Oh my god. Who's gonna fight me? No one? <laughs> this is awesome, though. <gasps> a tank! Got like a mouth. <laughs> oh, it's a shock emitter. Ah, wait, I, I, want, I want one of those. <laughs> Shock emitter. Yeah, it's got a pointy thing on it. Is it fused to it or? Aha. Might chew up durable, that's fine. That's like a taser. <laughs> there we go. Oh, crystallize? Okay. That's one way to get them. You get another battery thing already. You get schematic. <laughs> Strange invention made of zoning devices and building materials. Probably have to take that to someone in Kakariko. <laughs> anti yiga League. Oh, and they're doing some research. First Mighty Banana. I just forgot to take a picture from earlier. I finger banana discount. Mm. Yeah, this one's a bit better. A bit more space, you know? I need that. Too. <laughs> Otherwise, it's too cumbersome. We have learned much about the gloom. Familiarize yourself with this information. One, nothing can disperse gloom. Not even electricity, fire, or cold. Oh, it's like different research at every station. Two, touching gloom sucks away your life force. Watch where you step and avoid contact. Three, if you do make contact, send the lines provide effective treatment. Alternatively, return to the surface. Or the lights. <laughs> lights of roots growing from the ceiling. Since the roots lights is so weak, additional research is needed. But we can activate it. <laughs> Glory to Master Koga. Yeah, he's down here somewhere. It's gotta be in the desert area. I feel like it would be close. It's probably part of the main story. <laughs> ah. Uh oh. Uh, wait, don't. <laughs> That could have been bad. <laughs> okay, though. Reway door, do we just take that thing with us? Again, nothing will stop us. I like these ego bases. And on top of all of them, it seems like there's a, a big po. I think it's worth 20. That was a nice little clump. Uh, I was able to do it before. Kind of. Okay. <laughs> well, that time it's very fast. Good. 
<laughs> Give me my big Poe. Grand Poe. Gotcha. Now I want to go there, because we're being led right to it. Oh, there's, yep, there's a thing right there. So maybe we can hit that on the way. I just really want to see what it is first, you know? We got tipped off about it on the Sky Island. Oh, wait. The loot got scooped up. <laughs> loot scoop. Or maybe it fell under the map. <laughs> Never mind. Just pushed by the wheel. <laughs> Yay. There's a lot we can break. <laughs> I was like, what are you? Tulin always scaring me. Yes, giants. Good restock. Alright, let's do this. Full throttle. Oh. Maybe not. <laughs> now I'm on... Shock. It's shocking. Ow! <laughs> Too shocking. Alright, sun to line food it is. Yes, saw sunny far greens and then uh, a nice healthy restore. Right. Do we need brights? Not really. Um, hot buttered apple. There we go. <laughs> Sweet dessert after that. Terror to ourselves. You know, we gotta customize this vehicle a bit. Pimp out the ride. There we go. Let's hope this works. It's gotta... Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> maybe we can knock over the trees. Not the stumps, though. <laughs> That's the opposite of good. Bad. There we go. Hit the tree. No? Okay. Doesn't quite work well for us, does it? <laughs> it's got the messy vehicles. But there's the lay road too. Oh my. Stop getting stuck. <laughs> it's this back part, but I can't take apart the vehicles. I think that's what's causing it to get stuck. It's meant for very flat surfaces. That's why I like air travel. Where this area is perfect for vehicles. It's just fun that way. When it works. Bombs. I saw that from a mile away. <laughs> Can't deal with that. Pebbles. Okay. We can run them over. Big wheel. <laughs> Do what I can, because I got a big car. Okay, we're close to that. Wow, jeez. <laughs> uh, I think I'm walking as faster. I guess I can use it to get over slight bits of thingies. Okay, that's gotta work. Making the Lizzle mad. <laughs> you're doing something right when you're making a Lizzle mad. Uh, I haven't fought a lot of Lizalfos in this playthrough yet. There we go. That's a better picture. Control weapons. Oh, right. The shock one. Oh, are you attacking me? Just a distraction. Fire! Oh! God, I'm stuck dead and nicely. Uh, what are you? Shh, boom. <laughs> Long range. I... I don't know. Looks like a totem. Uh... 
Maybe it's a special thing. Well, clearly. But like, something we could have found a map for? Or like an offering statue? Bargainer thing? Oh, that goes cool. Still, we need something more gently tiered. Can't floor rush a bow guy. Two, three, four. <laughs> Break all the stuff in the meantime. Yeah. Get those good headshots. There's black Lazalfos. Really just haven't been seeing a lot of them. Oh. Bonus attack. Too early. There we go. This should pulverize. Doing at least like 50% more damage this way. I just don't know the exact stat yet. <laughs> just extra damage. Also, oh, it's a way back to the surface. And another lighthouse? Oh, it's right by the thingy. Spot marked in the middle map. Okay. There's so many. <laughs> there we go. Strengthen Lizzle Bow. Filling off this nicely. <laughs> Get ready, because I know it's going to be breaking soon. Here. Critical at rock hammer. How joyous. Oh, let's use it anyways. <laughs> so kind of better. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Hit it, please? No. <laughs> Stealth strike the rock. They'll never know where we're coming. Because he never would have. We're just a rock. Pebblets. The trees have good fruits. Bombs. We have 51 of them now. They're super good against the hand beings. <laughs> the phantom hands. It's wild how we can't even take a picture of him. Only the Phantom Ganon. Hey, look at this. Uh, it's a totem of sorts. Any significance besides just having a lot of pose by it? Okay, I guess it's just a tree. It looked more significant though. But, you know. Extra quantities of, I guess, some large pose. Ghastly. Flat area. That's like really flat for some reason. Why is it so flat? There's reasons for things like that. Nope. It was just flat. Flat. That's a cool statue. I don't know. Should we be taking pictures of the statues? Or... That's the part that beats me. I feel like if we do them now, we don't have to do them later sort of thing. I think it's for some sort of quest with Robbie, like the underground exploration. <gasps> Not electric keys. Whole orb. Yay. Never know. up high. This one won't even kill. Improve sneak strike, but not perfect. This will do more damage regardless. Ooh, <laughs> and the shatter. It's good that you can't sneak strike chain anymore, because <laughs> being able to exploit that would be too OP. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of luck there, wasn't it? Luck was all close. Let's get out. Uh -huh. I need a much better picture, though. Of course, you're jumping the wrong way. Not being very photogenic. That's pretty photogenic, though. Yeah. <laughs> Not like you can really tell the color, though. Yeah. 
Woo! Yeah, flame up. <laughs> Everyone, do a little dance. That dude's weak. Be storing it. <laughs> Okay. Next move. Uh, <laughs> yeah, critical at stuff. Okay. Well, this could be funny. <laughs> Very easily. Wait, that's that's better. <laughs> Not that it really tells what's going on. Hmm. I like when he's all screamy though. The pose is pretty sharp in this one though. Yeah, this at least gives the idea of a black Lizalfos. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still keeping this one. Fine, shock attacks. We need to use this up. Can you die? <laughs> Big orbs. There we go. You wanna finish him off? You're just doing amazing. Okay, well. You wait too long than I will. Nice halberd. Little sparkle. Oh, wait. Unorganic, but that's what I wanted. Ooh, make your own catalog. Yeah, that shock sword is finally coming to handy a bit. Two. So what type of night weapon is that? Large zonite. It's probably worth like five. <laughs> soldiers brought. It's all just the soldier tier because it's soldiers giving us. So I if there's like other races of people that would give us stuff too. I don't know, I'll see now. Further range? That just seems to be a mini monster camp. Hey guy. I'm more so coming up because I oh soldier's black sword. Uh I guess we'll take that until something better. Ooh, wow, attack up nine. We're already getting max modifier in soldier weapons. I guess he won't scale into other types because they're all distinct, you know? I'll keep that. Yeah, we can build a super weapon with that. And I like super weapons. They're fun. Okay, well, by that light root. Oh, wow, I see. Yep. Do you see that? In this one singular shot, there's three light roots. Is that one? That one. And that one. <laughs> I have low mark too. Look at that. Perfection. Okay. Wait. Perfect time to test this out. Minecart. Woo! <laughs> ding 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 ding. <laughs> Mick chick. <laughs> Mick chicken. Mick chick. My chicken. Yeah. Walk, walk. Dollar menu. Lighthouse. There we go. The desert dots. <laughs> I love this cart shield. Mm. We are still a little away from that. So I guess it's that light road then? Apparently so. Well, good thing most of these have building stations, but same type of plants, that's okay. Uh, balloon could help. Or just rock climbing. <laughs> Make enemies fight each other. Yeah. So there's puff shrooms, muddle buds, bomb flowers are just big things down here. Another building? Wait, what is that? It looks something. Hmm. That's kind of cool too, you know. We don't need that one. That's right on the pen, so we know where that is. 
Maybe someone should check out Under Gerudo Depths. Okay, we're close. Another like camp. One shot enemies. Oh, this time there's a bit more of a challenge, which is good for me. Because I could use that. Little bud? We only got one in there. Oh, two. Good. Still saving it, but uh, until we find those powerful enemies, just anything's power. Oh, what the? That much damage? Okay. Do the swap. Sure. <laughs> the Reaper. Oh, they're fighting each other. Yes. Don't know friend from foe. Hmm. Most used, most used, most used, most used. Spawn a thing right on ya. Well, that kind of worked. Yep, the infinite range is so nice. They're fighting. Swing! Ooh, same time trip up. Their patterns are locked. Woohoo! Shock swings! So you in the fight, but not the war. <laughs> yes. Charge. Yep. Shocking, isn't it? Probably very. Wah! Defeat your corpse, too. The worst way to go out. Yay. Nice Claymore is good. Not modified yet, though. Then we hit some high scaling, but nothing too maxed. Woo. <laughs> That's... <laughs> Yeah, there's too many different outcomes with every camp. You can use Puff Shroom for stealth. You can make them fight it out with the Muddle Buds. Uh, disorientate them. <laughs> Just gonna ignore whatever that happens. And Tulin does that. One Sunday line. Thank you. All restores. Just like so much like upgrading you can do with the uh, zonite which apparently will you know turn to the crystallized charges because it'll take a long time to get the eight batteries but i think that's the point they'll probably be like the last upgrade you get in the game and well first you got to figure out how to spend the zonite but i assume it's all related which makes sense okay we're very close to the light thing there's like a hmm, more of a tower maybe a tree Model buds. Yeah, this stuff good because maybe armor upgrades too. Who knows? I don't. As soon as we get that next great fairy, we'll know. That camp? Sure. Let's just right through the mix. Mm, peak. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm satisfied with that. I just can't wait to build the vehicle again. In time, I'm sure. Stealth up is so helpful. Thank you, Fireflies. Oh, not thank you, Tulin. Okay, at least got me out of that pit. So thanks again. Also, that isn't to a surface one. That's just a individual tower. Yeah, what is this? Abandoned Kara Kara mine. Right by, beneath the bazaar. Oh, so just leading us to this. So you could, could have probably easily found that yourself, but... Good reward? Oh, very good reward. That's why. The mines have good loot. A mask used for working in darkness. The attached lamps are filled with bioluminescent material to light one's surroundings. 
It's like a wolf ass kind of. Oh. And glows level three effect, so I can get all the way maxed. <laughs> That's really cool. Hi. You, you have a shield, don't you? Something's here. Authorized. Author, author of verified. Huh. Activating a mining operation? Once a busy refinery or a great deal of zonite was processed. I have something for you, but I do not think you're ready to receive it. Please visit the Great Abandoned Central Mine. Oh, there are different mine. Wait, Great Abandoned. That's Gustav Canyon Mine. So we gotta find all the mines. That's a thing. Yeah, <laughs> the biggest location. I guess we didn't really find locations yet. Oh, the big ones. Kind of a giant's grove, but still. Cool. Well, very handy. Now we have that, and obviously that's gone too. Hmm. Get the light rot. Uh, let me just send it really quick. Oh, <laughs> wrong area. Hmm. Yeah, it was a baby mine before, but this is actually like a area we can probably process stuff. Ah, that's how we spend the zonite. The mines down here. We just never found one. Author verified. I'm forge construct. Process zonite. Yes! Oh my god. Please let me. It's an actual shop. We were looking for this. <gasps> Woo! <laughs> That's a lot of processing. Yes, 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 yes. Crystallized charges. Okay. There's actually a lot of them. Uh, a lot of them catch my interest. You can buy the large ones. Oh, that's what the giant ones are for. Oh. How many can we buy? Take them all. Only 90? The 30 here for 90. Okay. <laughs> and then these are only three a piece. That's 20. Oh my god. 130. We can do two upgrades now. <laughs> and yeah, we can build these with one each. That's pretty cheap. This is all very cheap. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> mining pays off. Makes sense. We put a lot of work mining, so. Right, don't take their zonites. Yeah, don't want to take it. Um, how many zonites do we have left then? Um, 508. We lost nothing. It's just more a matter of we need to find more shops who can spend this stuff. Right off the bat, yeah, we uh, got a lot. Have enough for two more battery upgrades? Some key items. Yeah, two and a little more. So we'll get our second full battery. Each upgrade is just a third. <laughs> That's amazing. <gasps> Finally. <laughs> oh, of course. There's some loose ones. <laughs> the rupee sound effects. But not rupees. Cooler than rupees. Yeah, hmm. I guess platforms. We need them for something. I don't know. But I guess, yeah, this will really flush out when we uh, can activate that main central mine. Probably in the central region, you know? Understandably so. There's a big po on there. It's just a giant mining drill. Oops. This can wrap instantly around it now. Ooh. Charges and a po. So you get a little something by climbing it. That's literally the forge. Cool. <laughs> Large one, the small one. Grandpa. Can't wait to talk to more beings to buy more things. Or pieces of the dark sets, you know? Uh, <laughs> lighthouse first. I'm like, I'm not gonna use my resources to light this place when we can use natural renewable energy. At the Tadium Light Road. <laughs> Yams. Yams of Tata.
Okay, you do your thing. <laughs> cool. <laughs> At least we now know what those X's are for. It'll be fun. Most of them in the sky areas we went across, I'm sure. Talus, <laughs> I'm fighting you. Ooh. Sorry, I need things to just expel my weapons on. Spongy enemies are good for that, right? Let's see, there's time bombs. Uh, not really. Rockets, though? Fans? Yeah, we can build another flying mechanism. We just need the steerer. Which we have plenty of in our inventory. Oh, wrong way. Let's know where the important stuff is. I want to use my weapons on something. <laughs> yes. Um, steer will come last. Rockets are good for rocket's sake. So, you're just like a soldier spear, aren't you? Yeah, it looks like that, maybe. So awkward to climb. Travelers. This minor mask is cool. There's a little luminescent effect. <laughs> looks like a death mask, you know? The lights. It'd be freaky if something like that comes charging at me. <laughs> In these dark chasms. Yeah. I would say so. And then a steering wheel. Mm. 21 of them. See? I can build infinite cars. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yes. Okay. Ah. Uh. I should have angled it. <laughs> Damn. Wait, my rocket's still. Wait a second. It still has a little juice in it. It can get off the ground at least. <laughs> Yay. Okay. This guy looks a little dangerous, so we'll uh, make sure he's not. <laughs> it is a base stone tall, it's not a camp. <laughs> okay, so you can still find him in this game. And there's a back point. Do we have our boomerang still? We do. Nope, too far. Yep, okay. Can we even touch him? Oh my god. No, he's not gloomy, okay. It just has that like effect. Um. Gloom Spear could be cool. There we go. We'll take damage, but... No, you were supposed to die. You were really supposed to die. Ow! Two! I wonder if we, like, grad... Like, will the spear kill us if we use it fully, or...? I'm curious. Well, that will. <laughs> um, yeah, clearly. First death today, it looks like. <laughs> Pretty late in. 33? There we go. Goodbye to those fairies. Enchanting armor. Okay, that saved while we had a bunch of stuff missing. Go, it's out of that gloom stuff. Okay, do not go after me immediately. Wait, oh, yep. That definitely will. God, this is hard to do in the malice. Gloom. 34 immediately. First two deaths back to back. Great fairies can enhance cool stuff. Okay. Mm. 
Mm. I guess a bomb. It's just so much harder now. With the gloom around, it actually poses a serious issue. Thank you. That was very helpful of you. Um, and then gloom resistant food, right? We have it. <laughs> Plus a heart. Sunny cream vegetable soup. How nice. <laughs> we have to. It's the only way. Badly damaged already. These are pretty weak weapons. It's only good for just initially going down in heart, so if you want to use night stuff, you can. To, like, take advantage of the one heart thing. I feel like that's the point. Nope. Thank you. Stone Talos heart. Makes a good uh, slugger weapon. But I don't know. I don't know if that's what we need. Knight's broadsword. Let's critical it. You know, screw it. We're going to put on this. Three, four. Close. <laughs> heart sword. Give me life. Yeah, again. The gloom is dangerous. And if we warp though really fast... Yeah, a really quick warp would not hurt us. Because yeah, recover the stuff naturally. Don't have to cook anything. <laughs> It'd be nice that way. And clean. Solid. Okay. Oh, one at a time. Yeah. Well. That was cool. <laughs> Still, we got stuff, and stuff is nice. Because. Why not? <laughs> Let's go eat something. Crunchy fried rice, prime, egg pudding, milk, simmered fruit. And then just a basic. <laughs> Gotta drink my milk. Okay, fine. <laughs> Strong bones. Sure. Assumably. <laughs> yeah. You too, Lynn. <laughs> kind of that similar, like, ghastly eye look. Yeah. One with each other. That's why this is familiar. We kind of have that. Just different prongs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. This has been fun. But yeah. I think I'm gonna call for tonight though, because we've been going for again almost six hours, and it's been very fun. Six hours with breaks, mind you, but um, we'll schedule the next stream in the live tab. This is like stream number nine already, so we've been doing a lot. Only one dungeon to play through. But yeah, a lot of sky stuff, so we got a lot of those points of interest that we can now check out. Probably stuff relating to mines or maybe other things that we just didn't really see much of. Kind of skimmed past. Uh, so yeah, we'll do that in time. Uh, next stream, we'll schedule it in the playlist. Uh, so I'll see you guys then. The playlist is in the description, along with all the other info. But have we did that? Have we checked out our second labyrinth? Got more of the phantom stuff, uh, the helmet, and also this minor helmet. Um, also, just the snow stuff. I can't wait to go back, because I love this, the frostbite. Have to go back for Heber for that. But I think pretty soon I do want to check out, like, uh, even just going to Kakariko, because I feel like there's important upgrades and context to the world there. Um, around here is where there's stuff for the Great Fairy, so I can start doing that. And then head off for the dye shop, so I can start getting paraglider skins. So maybe important upgrades like that will just really enhance what we're doing here. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad we're exploring the depths and everything alongside. And now we found a way to buy those batteries, so that's really good. So, get more battery upgrades, build bigger vehicles to really just go ham down here. But yeah, thanks for watching. We'll save right here. Uh, schedule the next stream in the playlist. And uh, yeah, hope you guys have a good rest of your nights. Uh, day 7 of Tears being out. And yeah, if you don't have the game yet, you should get it. And if you don't have means to get it, I hope when you do get it, it'll be awesome. So thank you. Um, Boink says bye because he's been like every break today. So say bye to Boink. And I will see you next time. Love it scheduled. Have a good one.